for it. Okay. <laughs> I didn't check my microphone before I went live. I'm so thankful that I eventually found that out. Um, I had it muted for a second before I uh, was recording some in-game interactions and didn't want my microphone to pick up on that. But here we are. We're going to be unlocking all of the rewards in the Triple Draft Tournament today. If you get to 15 wins, you can get them all. So that's what we're going to be showing you guys how to do. And this is going to be different than a traditional YouTube video. I talked to some of the best players in the world, like Air Surfer and, you know, the group chat with the best players. And they gave me a whole bunch of tips on how to play the Triple Draft Tournament and what they do to be successful. These guys don't create YouTube videos, so you wouldn't get these tips anywhere else. Let's get into the business and show you guys what to do in the Triple Draft Tournament and hopefully pop off. So they told me at the start, use cards, sp spells specifically, when you get the chance, always pick things that are versatile in every situation. The best two spells to pick are Fireball and Arrows, because you're always going to be able to drop them, always get, you know, some good value from that. Remember what your opponent's got, and later on, if your spells are coming up later, like let's say you know that they have Archer Queen, you can pick uh, a Lightning. If you know that they've got Sparky, you can pick a Rocket. But always choose spells that are versatile when you don't know what your opponent's got. Like, look, now we've got arrows for the Firecracker or minions. That's so much better than potentially having a card that just wouldn't give us anything like Zap, like Zap in this specific situation. Maybe it's a really good card against someone that's got a skeleton army, but arrows, you can kind of just get value no matter what. Worst case scenario, you're getting an even trade and it just feels pretty good. Okay, so I don't have a building right now. I think it's in my best interest just to take Tombstone. It seems like a pretty safe card. Flash damage cards are always phenomenal. I still don't really have a win condition. I think Dark Prince is going to be a little bit better here. And then I'm thinking that I want to take Electro Wizard because it's pretty versatile. But at the same time, uh, I haven't really picked out all my cards yet. So we're going to be going a little bit faster here. And I'm going to take Mortar. So this isn't too bad. I uh, definitely wish I had gotten a bit better of uh, a card selection. But Mortar Tombstone is not necessarily... Uh, gonna be terrible if our opponent's got a win condition that we are able to shut down with uh, two buildings so I'm gonna go for mortar out of the jump it's pretty safe to do that since I do have two buildings in my deck I can e-whiz and then as you guys can see arrows are popping off and giving me absurd value that is not something that you'll see in any, any other situation we'll activate king tower here I'm gonna go for a dark prince last possible second make sure that it stays in place and then the firecracker is gonna hit that activating king and then we're in a really good spot so as you guys can see, uh, even though the Firecracker is obnoxious, Dark Prince gives you more versatility and more counter pressure than you would get with the Valkyrie. So I'm always trying to use cards that are just universally better in more situations. So if I get into a different situation, I'm not going to get screwed with a card that's just like super, you know, flimsy or not able to uh, apply aggression, you know, because like Knight and... Uh, and Valkyrie just aren't as good as Dark Prince on offense. So that's why I chose that. Especially like when you look at my deck, I've only really got like Fireball Cycle with uh, Mortar. So I don't necessarily have the most aggressive stance here. Okay, so I think it's my best interest to go in for a Dark Goblin and then go for a Dark Prince. Dark Prince should take the targeting since we have Electro Wizard. I didn't feel very comfortable going for a Mortar there right into a Cannon Cart. We know his Mega Knight is out of cycle as well. So I think I probably just win the game. I think we played a little bit better than him. His elixir count was low, and uh, yeah, he just got a bit outplayed. That, that's how this game works. Like, you don't even need to have like the best card composition possible, especially in the earlier stages of these Royal tournaments. People will just make misplays, and then you'll capitalize on it because you'll be up more elixir, and you'll win. So a couple things that uh, Jack, aka Air Surfer, told me. Always try to pick like the meta-defining cards if you can, if you're given the option. So specifically, like, Electro Giant and Royal Giant are really good in draft. You can't necessarily go wrong with an Electro Giant because it kind of just kills whatever opponent's units are going to be dropped on it, right? So if your opponent drops, like, maybe a Knight or a Valkyrie, it's going to get damaged down, so then it doesn't get that much of a counter push. So Electro Giant, really good. Royal Giant is phenomenal, too, because it fits with so many different cards, and it also can attack from the river, basically. So it's just a, a pretty reliable win condition that fits with a lot of different things. So it's a great card to choose if you guys haven't already. Okay, so if I arrows here, I am able to kill, but I think the mortar might be able to shoot everything. We'll have to wait and see. Okay, so I wait the last possible second. We get more value with the arrows. I think I played that about as well as I could have, and this guy is just not going to look so good when that happens. So, yeah, this is, should be all she wrote. Also, Dark Goblin, really good card. Uh, it's bad if your opponent has log, but if you know that they don't have log in their potential, like, choices, always pick Dark Goblin whenever you can, or, like, Princess. So... The later stages, you want to pay attention to what your opponent has. It doesn't always matter, like, what cards you pick. Maybe your cards that you pick are, like, really good. Sometimes more off-meta cards are better. Also, you guys are going to play me for that, Arrows. It doesn't matter. It's uh, a pretty easy win. 
fireball arrows definitely best two small spells and big spells to pick and uh yeah we're gonna have a good time today also i'm gonna be reading chat after every single game uh during the game i'm gonna be trying to give you guys more tips and stuff uh afterwards we'll always take a little bit of a break and talk to you guys alex thank you hey jake i missed one of your recent streams happy to catch this one keep up uh you're the best keep up doing what you're doing thank you brother oh man i love you also, I'll, I have questions to ask you guys. You know, I might give you tips on this tournament, but you guys can give me tips in real life. Here's my first question. You guys can comment in the comment section or on uh, chat. I'll be reading every single comment, by the way, after the video is released. I read comments for two hours every day now. So uh, definitely make sure to do that if you haven't already. Here's the question. If you guys had to buy a water filter, what's good? Because I look through all the things online and I'm at a new place and I don't have a water filter. And some of them are like, this one's bad. This one doesn't filter water. You're going to get like bacteria and stuff. So I'm just like, what do I get? Because a lot of people um, have their reviews or stuff influenced. So it's just terrible. Um, let me know what you guys think. Uh, you guys can definitely help me out on that. If you have no clue, that's fine too. I just figured like we have so many big brains here that, you know, well, big brains are better than one brain that's kind of peanut sized. Um, so Sir, Sir Tag, what's popping? Hope you're having an amazing day. Thanks for the, the daily uploads. What do you call an elephant that's not involved? Irrelevant. <laughs> nice. Nice. <laughs> oh, jeez, dude. I love the dad jokes. I'm sure you can tell by, by my sense of humor. But yeah, thank you. All right, let's go next. Let's go next. We're gonna get 15 wins today, as I said before. Okay, so our princess, is, our opponent has a lot of like log bait and uh, annoying cards. Splash damage is really, really good in this challenge. So I'm gonna pick fire, uh, firecracker just for that reason. Um, a dark prince again, of course. I think that minor. Is decent but it's not great we saw that there's a lot of log bait cards and cards that die to arrows so i'm gonna pick that i think fire spirit great card amazing for 300 damage oh it's incredible okay so here's the thing do i pick musketeer do i pick baby dragon or do i pick zappies i think zappies are pretty good having a fireball bait because most of the time your opponent's not gonna have fireball they're gonna be fine uh i think i'm gonna go with zappies just because i like the card and then all of these kinds of cards are scuffed, but Elite Barbarians do a lot of damage, so I'm going to pick that. And then I will probably have to pick Poison here, just because it's going to be universally a better spell. Now I don't have a Wing Condition, so we're going to pick one. Awesome, we have Royal Giant. I'm very happy with that. I could have picked Graveyard because I had uh, Poison, but I looked at my deck and I'm like, I picked Firecracker. So if I give my opponent a King Tower activation, I'm screwed. Also, I think I know this guy's clan. So this is the first game that I'm actually going to have to focus up. Uh, sometimes when you're playing, I, I've never said this uh, too often, but when you're playing these Royale tournaments at the very start, like the very first day, sometimes you can play against really good players early on. And that's extremely bad. You want to wait. If you, if you really want to have your utmost success in these type of challenges, do not play them until the last day. Because this guy knows me too. I, as you guys can see, I, I know him. Uh, he's, he's a pretty good player, uh, at least from the clan that I remember. So you have a higher chance of playing good players because they're pushing up at the very start. They don't, they don't, wait, they don't wait. They don't mess around. They just like go through the challenges and they want to win everything. So just keep that in mind if you guys are ever wondering. Um, also in this challenge, since I am playing a little bit more sweaty, uh, I am going to be like keeping track of Elixir and stuff more so. So I'm not going to be uh, commentating or talking to chat during the games. I will always be doing that after. Um, so thank you guys for understanding about that. I just want to show you guys my best. And uh, when it's, um, I guess the best way of explaining it, when I have a pre-prepared deck, I can kind of screw around and I know what's going on. But when I'm playing a new deck that I have to always adapt and innovate with cards that I don't necessarily always play, uh, for me to play my best, I actually have to focus up a little bit more early on. So that's going to not hit my tower. Ooh, he actually made a misplay. I'm surprised. This guy, um, if I remember correctly, was pretty good. All right, so we're in a Royal Giant since he's down a lot of Elixir. Uh, the Firecracker was able to kill all this stuff. Firecracker is going to take the tower targeting as well. And I'm wondering what I do here. So the Zappies should be able to stop this unless I'm crazy. I think that the Zappies... Yeah, okay, cool. Zappies are really, really, really good against everything that your opponent has if they don't have a Fireball. So Zappies is just going to be really uncomfortable for any Bridge Bam to break through when you drop it in the middle. It even full counters Elite Barbarians, if you guys didn't know that. I think I'm going to Arrows here. And then I can Dark Prince. I don't think that that Dark Prince was phenomenal. I could have Fire Spirited it, and that would have cost less Elixir. But the Dark Prince will bait out some extra stuff as well. So I forget what his win condition was. I didn't really look at his cards. So that's also another failure on my end. Um, if it's just Wall Breakers, then the Leap Barbarians kill everything and I don't have to worry about it. So E-Barbs are really good in this challenge as well since they have such high damage per second. 
And as long as your opponent doesn't have like great distractions, then you're going to be fine with it. Okay, so the princess dies. The magic archer is going to just get poisoned. So another thing that I want to just tell you guys real quick, if I royal giant here and I go into the magic archer, I probably don't kill it. And then I have to worry about the counter push. So just keep that in mind whenever you're playing. Fire spirit's going to be able to hit all the wall breakers. So I'm just going to get away with the dark prince. Um, always trying to get good elixir trades. That's, that's the main thing. Like if I overcommit, then I could potentially lose to someone that I don't want to lose to early on. That's like my number one way of losing. It's just messing up, thinking that I'm in a good spot, and then I lose because I'm just a little bit too complacent, I guess. Uh, so just keep that in mind if you guys are ever wondering, like, how do you lose games? How do I lose games? A lot of times it's just because you take one bad negative Witcher trade that you weren't supposed to take. So he's going to go in for Royal Delivery here, I think. So I want to poison on top of the, the guard, so then he's not going to have enough damage. He's just going to go Royal Delivery, and that's not going to be enough. So I paid attention to his card cycle. I knew what he was going to drop. I went in for my Royal Giant at the right time, and I absolutely wrecked him. That's what's up. Good player, good clan, a little bit scary playing against someone like that early on. We won. All right. Let's freaking go. So let's see what else you guys said. Um, Alex Pure. Um, Alex O Pure is a good water filter. All right. Yeah, dude, I'll check that out. If you guys have any of those suggestions, I am literally going to put that in a different um, thing. And I'm going to go look at all these afterward. I'll be reviewing every comment. You guys are incredible. <laughs> okay. <laughs> There's a few comments here that are scary. Oh, man. All right. I got a zero water filter, and I had it in Florida, and after was so bad. Like, it was better than Brita. And the after was so bad. Ooh. Wait, what do you mean the after was so bad? So it was bad? I'm confused, because then you said you liked it more than Brita. I'm so confused by that comment, Homer. You have to clear that up for me, bro. Um, do you invest the money that you for the day or do you decide to slow down on YouTube? So I don't really talk about my personal investments because I think any YouTuber that is doing Clash Royale type of stuff, generally pretty like unaware of investing. For me, I put it in index funds because I've done a lot of research on that and I felt comfortable with it. And I do, um, uh, I, I do like the, uh, what is it called? I, I forget, but it's on regular intervals. You invest the same amount of money and you never really look at the stock market and you put it in index funds because it's really diversified. That's what I do. I will never do anything other than that because I have very little risk tolerance and I also hate losing money. And also most of my money that I make, I don't know if you guys know this, all the money from the creator code, all the money from the sponsorships, those go back into the channel. My edits cost a ridiculous amount of money right now like from all of my editors and hiring six people. So I think investing in myself to grow my brand and hope that YouTube pops off, that's the number one thing. And, you know, hopefully that continues to pop off. But that's my goal. Um, dollar cost averaging. That's what I was talking about. Thank you. See, I'm telling you, a million brains are better than one small peanut brain. You guys are incredible. Okay, so Mortar is a great card. I feel very comfortable with it. It's a great offensive card. And it's also good on defense. So that's why I'm going to pick it. Synergy with Mortar. Ooh, crap. I forgot what his first card was. Uh, that was his win condition. I forgot. I was just so happy about picking Mortar. Okay, we're fine. I think I can run Skeleton Barrel with Mortar because of the Synergy. It seems very solid. Um, I think I'm going to take Barbarian since I already have Mortar. I don't think I need anything else. I want to make sure that my card cycle isn't too clunky. Uh, I think I want to take Snowball because it's just a really good versatile spell of knocking things back. And you guys already guessed this. I am taking Dark Goblin. So Minion Horde is not optimal in this situation. I'll take Musketeer. And then I think I want Rocket Cycle just because, ooh, Fireball is good, but is Rocket Cycle better? I think I'm going to take Fireball just because I want maybe my Skeleton Barrel to break through a little bit more. Fireball is the best spell in the game. Uh, just because it's incredibly versatile. If you ever forget things, take Fireball because you're probably going to be fine. You can't really go wrong with it. Skeleton Barrel, really bad card in regular game modes, but it's pretty decent here. The reason why it's bad in regular game modes is because it gets shut down very easily by almost any anti-air targeting card. And then also, a lot of people are running Tornado right now to counter Electro Giants and the likes of that. And what happens is when they have that type of counter to you, they can just activate King Tower against the Skeleton Barrel, take no damage, and make you look like an idiot. That's not something fun. Uh, I think I'm going to go Barbarians here just to keep the Musketeer a little bit healthier if possible. Yeah, so he does one-tap all of this, which is really unfortunate, but as long as the Mortar locks, then we're fine. I'm going to go in for a Snowball. I thought that those might walk up, so I didn't want to miss it. Uh, remember that this guy does have arrows. I don't know if he's got balloons, so 
I think it's in my best interest just to go Rascal since I have a Thick Boy protecting me. And if I go for... Yeah, yeah. So here's, the, here's my thought process. If I go for Dark Goblin first and he arrows is that, I think that I might be screwed because I might not have Elixir for the Rascals immediately or whatever, and then it could be more problematic. But because I played like that, I think it was optimal. I'm going to go for Mortar. Ooh, that was such a good Valkyrie on his end. Are we going to be fine, or is that going to do a million damage? So I think it's in my best interest to just go in for a Skeleton Barrel. You guys might be like, Jake, why are you doing this? Uh, I just don't want to eat the damage. It's not worth it. I should have dropped it so it popped on top of the Wizard, so it disrupted it, and maybe the Wizard would have locked onto the Skeletons instead. I was also hoping for one Skeleton hit there. It is what it is. We'll play to our opponent. I, the other thing is that I always want to be like, in, in whenever I'm playing, is like when I make misplays, I want to let you guys know. I'm not going to hide that. I'm not going to sugarcoat it. I'm not going to write that off. That wasn't that good. That was pretty bad. <laughs> but it is what it is. Remember, this guy's going to have Valkyrie with Wizard. So the visit Wizard will probably be out of cycle for a while. Uh, we'll see what he decides to do here. He's going to poison and then probably give me pretty decent Barbarian value. Arrows come down, but now I can go in for a Dark Goblin. So he's going to Valkyrie this or Wizard, depending on what he's feeling. So this matchup is actually not good for me. I'm glad that I picked Fireball because I don't think I could have won any other way. We'll see if I can Fireball on top of the Wizard, and then Dark Goblin one-taps it, and then the Dark Goblin does 700 damage to the tower if he doesn't respond. Okay, so we're going to go in for a Skeleton Barrel, so then he doesn't have that much Elixir to go in for the Lob Hound. If you go in for a Poison, then that's okay. Um, what are we going to do? I mean, this is really unfortunate because I don't think I can do much besides going for, like, Barbarian's other side and trying to bait out a Valkyrie, and then maybe going for a Mortar at this exact moment. Okay, Wizard wasn't that good on his end because I can ignore that. That's not uh, a game-defining moment. He could arrows on this. We'll have to wait and see. The Barbarian doesn't kill. Really unfortunate. Uh, we wanted the Wizard to die, so then the, the Mortar locks tower, but that didn't work out. I think he's going to be able to defend this. We'll have to wait and see. I'm going to go in for a Skeleton Barrel pretty aggressively right now. The Poison was bad on his end because it doesn't kill the Musketeer immediately. And then I think I can get a, a Mortar down if I'm uh, not super unlucky. I think I'm going to go Rascals, actually. So yeah, this is a, definitely a bad matchup on my end. I think I could have picked a little bit better here. Um, I didn't expect him to have Lava Hound... Uh, plus Wizard and Valkyrie on the same thing. And I think that was more so a byproduct of me messing up. But we'll see if we can come back here if I go for Barbarians and I just like melt it and I spam very aggressively here. Um, maybe we can still make something happen. All right, so I, if I Fireball, that doesn't do enough. Um, I do need to Fireball everything at once as well. We'll see if I can hit the Valkyrie and I don't. This is looking really, really tough. I think I put myself in a bad matchup. Um, so we'll see if I lose this one. I don't think that the Valkyrie gets a hit. So I'm going to try to go in for a Mortar very aggressively again. Maybe we can outcycle him just once. That's what we're hoping for here. Not really looking super hot for us. I'm going to go Skeleton Barrel other side because I realize that I can't go same lane for the rest of this game. That's just going to be a losing factor. But yeah, I think I lost this one based off matchup, but it was also based off of me making the wrong decision. Um, going into a Valkyrie Wizard when you've got this type of matchup is obviously suboptimal situation. Um, we'll go to the next one. We'll play better there and... You know, hopefully our next player won't have Valkyrie, um, Arrows, and Wizard into our, our bait deck. I thought that uh, Splash Damage wouldn't be like that abundant from our opponent, but he picked every single Splash Damage card in the game, and we got wrecked. So we go next. You already know the deal. Splash Damage is really, really good. Super important. And the guy was a decent player. If you're a traditional two-win player, you wouldn't beat me with that type of matchup, even if you hard counter me. So well played your opponent. Now we're going to pay a little bit more attention to the cards that we pick. I'm going to pick Archer since they're just a bit more versatile. As we said, Fireball is the best spell to pick early on. And uh, I think Mega Knight might be good here. It seems weird, but like we're playing into Royal Hogs and Battle Ram, so Mega Knight seems pretty good. Bad thing is he'll probably pick Inferno Dragon. Um, I need to go for Witch because of the splash damage and just the versatility. It's really Witch is pretty good at distracting a whole bunch of spawners. Not spawners, but it's like spam. Um, because we've got Mega Knight, I think our best bet is picking battle, uh, the, uh, the Prince. Remember, his card cycle is also going to be, like, Royal Hogs. And, um, yeah, he's going to have, like, Royal Hogs and Battle Ram. So, like, the Fisherman wouldn't do so well for us there. I think Furnace could be optimal because of Fireball uh, bait in our deck. And then Arrows is really good here. Uh, so, I think Bomber could be okay. But I'm expecting... Yeah, I think... I think Bomber is optimal. Instead of Mother Witch. Mother Witch is good, but I think that Bomber might be a little bit better for us. Just less Elixir, and we'll see what we can do. Let's rock and roll, and let's get it. It's nice to see pros lose. This toxic stuff is... Yeah, yeah, no doubt. I mean, I'm not a pro player anymore. I mean, I did win $5,000 playing this game professionally, and I did finish, like, top 100 in the world a lot of times. But right now, I just play for fun at this point, and I love playing the game. 
But I just want to make that uh, completely clear <laughs> if you guys didn't know. Anyway, this guy's going to have Log and he's going to have Musketeer. So I could Fireball on that, but that's obviously not the right play. You want your opponent to spam a bit more into you. So I'm going to go for a Bomber and hopefully use our Tower as a resource. And then not take too much damage here. It's going to be two hits. I'm going to go in for... Uh, oh, ooh, it's only one. Okay, that's fine. I'm going to go which other side. We'll see if we can bait out the Royal Hogs into us. Okay, so since he's got Rocket, that's pretty good. Because now I can go in for the Furnace and realize, hey, if you drop any like card that's baity, we can Arrows it. If you drop anything else, we can Fireball it. So... This is good. I'll take that trade. We know that he'll probably end up having an Inferno Dragon, as I said before. So I'm going to go for Archers, and then I think I got to go for a Prince on top of the Bowler. So optimal. As long as it doesn't hit the uh, Furnace too much, then that's okay. All right, that's interesting because I think that the Archers and the Bomber are able to kill almost all the damage here. And it seems like he's down a lot. If the Prince was able to get a charge, that would have been amazing, but it didn't really work out. As you guys can see, Musketeer is a phenomenal card. So... Not looking the best because it seems like Rocket is a really good uh, win condition for our opponent here. Uh, we'll see if we can pull it out. So if I go for Witch in the back and then I go for Mega Knight, that might work out pretty okay. But the thing is, I still don't know if he's got Inferno Dragon, so that's the scary thing for me. Uh, he might Rocket this again, but it would be on the healthier tower, so it's like not the end of the world. All right, we'll go for a Furnace after. And now um, we'll figure out what he wants to do. He still hasn't Bridge Bam. I think we're starting to play against like some decent players, which is actually pretty unfortunate. Um, the fact that he's, like, early in the challenge and he's not messing up, uh, not really what we want to see. But as I said before, like, a lot of times when you play against people, um, earlier, they're gonna, they're gonna know their things. Okay, so that placement was pretty bad on our opponent's end. We'll take that trade. The Prince might connect for a lot of damage. Um, okay, so he's gonna Prince instead. This might be our chance. If I go in for a Mega Knight here, and I kill the, um, I kill that quickly, and then I Arrows, we might be able to get enough counter push to win the game. We'll see how well this works. I'm going to start spamming very aggressively since we're up so much Elixir. He's going to have E-Barb, so that is definitely not an amazing situation for me, but it's something I'll take. Fireball just completely whiffed. Oh, man, I just donated four Elixir. The four Elixir is not something that you want to be spending like a Rocket Cycle since it doesn't give you as good of a trade as a Rocket, so definitely unfortunate. Um, I think I'm going to go for a Prince here, and then we'll see what else he does. So from what I've seen from him is he has a a lot of reluctancy of like going in for too many units he's been fireballing more or he's been rocketing more than anything else yeah i think we can fireball on everything Ugh, musketeer didn't walk up into it musketeer's range is uh, very very far if you guys didn't know which i'm sure you all already know that all right we're gonna have to arrows here i could mega knight but just trying to play safe rather than sorry all right i can mega knight afterward i think this is probably going to be optimal because i can go in for bomber to kill the e barbs so all these cards don't get knocked back, which is really, really good for us. We can just kill the Bowler, and then Fireball on the Musketeer and the e barbs. That would be so cool. See, like, that's what I'm talking about. Most people, um, at least earlier on, they would mess that up, and they would let me, like, hit everything. Like, the fact that he dropped his e barbs like, a little bit further back is pretty annoying. The fact that he's rocketing this and knowing to do it... Ooh, actually, he missed it. So he could have hit that. He could have hit that and screwed me over and won the game. Uh, I think that we win now. We'll see. We'll do this. And I should be able to go for a Mega Knight. Like, this is a pretty tough game. I've never really had these type of situations where it's like decent players back to back to back. All right, we'll go for Mega Knight. And then, okay, this is this is a mess up on his end for sure. Almost certainly a mess up. Then we can go in for a Prince and then keep everything alive and then Fireball and then probably kill everything with arrows. So we'll see how well this works. No, I don't want arrows. Can I kill everything by just dropping a Mega Knight? The bowler is so annoying, dudes. Holy, that is really annoying. He's going to e barbs but can we kill it? We, we have archers and we have all this other stuff. All right, I'm not missing the fireball. The Mega Knight jumps onto the tower and we walk with a win. But at the same time, like this guy played pretty well. Um, he had a good matchup 100% because he had the bowler and the goblin barrel where I need to like kind of save the arrows for the goblin barrel. Uh... I think that the bowler was the most annoying factor there. As you guys can see, splash damage cards in this type of game mode is really, like, they're really, really good. I just want to highlight that again. Um, Wizard Valkyrie being super good into here. The Dark Prince and Bowler being super phenomenal into my Witch, my, uh, my Bomber, and my Archers. So I was able to win with the Mega Knight, but I shouldn't have won that. I think that Fireball being great into the Flying Machine was phenomenal. Um... Musketeer is the card that doesn't die to Fireball, so I have to, like, Fireball Arrows, so that's, like, a negative three trade every time. 
But I think he definitely got a better draft there. I would, if I was him, I would have just kept cycling rockets on my tower, defending with e-barbs and bowler, and you would probably would have won. Mega Knight on offense is very easily countered by bowlers and also dark princes if you can keep your musketeers alive. So tough matchup there. We go next. Mega Knight is still my favorite. Mega Knight is not a good card. It's good in some situations, but I was hoping my opponent would pick Royal Hogs or the Battle Ram, and he chose Goblin Barrel instead, I think. So that was a bit unfortunate. You're my favorite Clash Royale YouTuber. Do you play Clash of Clans? I don't play Clash of Clans, actually. I actually, I, I don't like base builders that much. Also, Jacob, thank you for the $2. Pim, thank you for the 5 And then Funny Man, thank you for, for the dono earlier. I thought that was 40 but then I realized that it was a, a different currency. Um... Did you please play Royal Hogs Archer Queen? Uh, well, if I could play Ar Royal Hogs Archer Queen, you already know I would be running that. Right now, we're doing draft challenge, and we don't really know what we're going to get. So all of these cards are kind of trash besides Rocket. So I'm going to pick Rocket. Since you do get splash damage with it, you will get some value. Um, Rocket's going to give us value into that. Uh, do we pick Bomb Tower? I think so, because it's really good into all the, the, the rail recruits, E-Barbs, and then also um, the other choices that he had. My card selection here has been just terrible. I don't know that if Ice Wizard is going to be good, but I think it's better than the other selection. And then going into E-Barbs, I don't know what we want to do here. It doesn't make sense to run RG into it. Maybe Wall Breakers, but I don't see I have a... I'm just going to take Hog Rider. I think it's just a bit safer right now. I think I can sli slip and slime my way through. Um, maybe Rocket plus uh, Royal Giant would have been decent. I'm going to take Witch. Ooh, Cannon Card is just such a good card in almost every situation. Fire Spirit's broken. And then this guy's got Tornado, so fortunately, um, <laughs> well, unfortunately for me, I didn't get what I wanted. Um, I'm going to take Arrows just because it's, it's safer and allows me to kill all the bait cards that are annoying. As I said before, if you ever stress, just pick Arrows or Fireball, and then it'll probably work out for you. I think I have a really good deck here. I'm going to wait for him to try to make the first play. If he doesn't, then I'll go for a Hog Rider. Remember, he's got Tornado and e barbs so it's going to be bad for me. But it is what it is. Oh, this is really good. He went for a Bandit, and it didn't dash. This is the type of player that we were hoping to play against. Um, we did not get this the last couple games. The last couple games, I think that there were at least above 6,000 trophies. Um, as I said, first day of the, the, the challenge, you're going to be playing against much better players than you traditionally would. Just want you guys to keep that in mind. You'll get a mixed bag of players. You'll get some people that don't know their interactions that will mess up. And then you get some people that, you know, just are really, really good. Um, just for reference, I've played against the number one player in the world at two wins in a global tournament before. And that was Kodigo. Uh, Kodigo was number one uh, when I played against him. It was really it was really unfortunate. I'm not going to lie about that. Um, so we're going to hog rider here. I'll go for a fire spirit and we'll see what's cooking. E-Barb's not going to rocket that, which, as I said before, is incredibly good in this game mode because you're able to spawn a lot of skeletons and distract stuff. As you guys already know, Arrow is the real MVP. Pick Arrows. Pick Fireball. Pick Royal Giant when you can, when it actually makes sense to. I think that Hog Rider slips through in more situations because a lot of these people in this draft game mode won't, at least early on, they won't know how to completely counter Hog Rider by dropping their mini P.E.K.K.A.s as fast as possible. They won't drop their bandits at the right timing. But as you get higher, you want to be picking those Royal Giants and Electro Giants. We haven't gotten any E-Giants recently, but, you know, it is what it is. I think my deck right now is the best one we've gotten in the entire tournament so far. The fact that I have Cannon Cart with uh, a Bomb Tower and then also Rocket and other very versatile cards, like, that's, that's what we want to see. So he's going to Fireball and drop a Tombstone. He's literally dropping his entire Elixir bank and getting nothing from it. And because he has no elixir, I'm just going to rocket it. And if you go in for a uh, Royal Hogs, it goes into a bomb tower and you get no value. So this game is over. When I'm up enough elixir, I will chuck a rocket at you, especially when it's double elixir happening. So yeah, this is what we were hoping every single game would look like. Not many of these will look like this, though, for whatever reason, early season. So it is what it is. Um, my goodness. Let's freaking go. Let's get that bread. All right. Um... You're the best. I would beat you. Oh, those are two completely different sentiments. That's crazy. <laughs> um, honestly, you might beat me. I'm not the best player in the world. I uh, play this game for fun. I mean, I'm a top 1,000 to top 2,000 in the world skill player, and that's that's where I am. Whenever I try, that's that's where I be. I mean, you might be better than me. Who knows? Um, this guy's gonna fireball, and he's not gonna do any damage. That's that's a vibe for sure. We wrecked him. How you been? I've been very very good. All right. 
We crushed it. We crushed it. Hee hee ha. Yes, sir. Um, what's up with stream quality since the move? Provider spotty or what? I need my Jake in high def. Uh, it should be high def, man. Let me know in the chat if you guys don't see me in high def right now. It should be perfect. It's probably on your end, my dude. But uh, thank you so much for being here. Nobody, nobody is better than Sir Tag. That is strictly false. I beat a lot of really good players. I beat Oyasu the last four times in a row. But I'm also way worse than him. If you ever see me beating a really good player, just keep that in mind that I am probably not better than them. You know, that's just, that's kind of how the game works. Sometimes you can get lucky. Sometimes the opponent will be screwing around. Just want you guys to be 100% clear on that. If that ever happens, I am not the best player. All right. Yes, sir. It looks great. All right. Cool, cool, cool. Yeah, just reload if it's ever low def. Hey, Sir Tag, uh, your videos make my day and I really appreciate your positivity. I'm also honored to say that I'm in your clan. I am maybe yesterday. Hell yeah, man. Let's freaking go. Let's get it. Um, I'm addicted, but I'm not able to focus on my studies. Well, well, dude, definitely focus on the studies. Studies are what make you successful in the end, man. All right, so let's keep going. Let's keep giving you guys more tips. So I don't know if I said this already. Splash damage cards, really good. Fireball bait cards, really good if your opponent doesn't have a ton of splash damage. This kind of is bad. Battle yours, trash card, only works really with Elixir Golem. Don't play it. Um, I wish I picked Fisherman. He might pick Golem. I'm going to pick Royal Hogs. They're just a really good card overall. I'm, I mean, you can't really go wrong with Royal Hogs. <clears throat> Whenever I play Royal Hogs and my opponent doesn't have like Fireball plus like a good building and then other splash damage, I generally get value. Do I want to pick Pekka here? <clears throat> Or do I want to pick Tesla? Because I don't have a building. This is really scuffed. I'm going to pick Mini Pekka. I don't know if it's good or not, but I'm going to go for the more aggressive route. Definitely going to pick Magic Archer. And then 110% going to pick a Fireball here. You guys already know the deal. Safety first always. Skeletons are great for distractions and allowing me to cycle, so I'm going to pick that. I could pick Heal Spirit for my Royal Hogs. Pretty confident with my deck right now. We should win this. Let's see if we can pop off. All right, so Royal Hogs at the start is not a bad decision if we want to get this game moving because I can defend most of his stuff with, like, Knights and Mini Pekkas and stuff like that. So I'm going to Magic Archer since he had already activated King Tower. We need to get more damage here. And that Ice Wizard is just going to be ripe for the pickings. That is crazy value, guys. All right, we're going to go for a Knight here, and then I think I'm going to have to go Mini Pekka. That was a very bad play, expecting us to go in for uh, a building that I didn't even want to drop. So that's going to be able to give him uh, zero damage afterwards. Mini Pekka attacks faster than the Prince. I'm not going to arrows here. It just doesn't make sense to. I can go for Skeletons afterward, and then I can go back to Rail Hogs before he's back to another counter. So this is better, I think. I should have dropped the Skeletons uh, off to the side, so then the Spear Goblin there just got damage. Uh, I don't think I played that well. I went to Rail Hogs when we're at 7 Elixir, so then he doesn't have that much counter pressure. Uh, all of his cards should be killed pretty quickly then. I'm going to Fly Machine very aggressively so I can kill the Lumberjack. It doesn't cross the river. And then I think I go for a knight here. Last possible second. Ewis should target onto that. Lumberjack should die. With two towers shooting the Lumberjack, it's not going to be able to give him that much value. He should lose his Electro Wizard with no damage on my tower. All right, so we played that perfectly. Calculated all the assessments. We made it happen. The big brain, big brain rolling. I don't know, guys. I feel really stupid sometimes, but I think I played that pretty well. Um, it could have ended up a lot worse than what happened. All right, so I'm going to Magic Archer in the back because we don't know if he has Golem. If he has Golem, I can't cycle my Mini Packer. Remember, he does have a Earthquake. So we'll see what he decides to do. Sometimes they'll drop a small spell or something to stop the Skeletons. Yeah, that was good on his end. I guess I go in for Mini Packer here and then I Royal Hogs just because I want to be able to get damage and I want to keep him at a low Elixir count and the Mini Packer will give us a lot of value if we can remove all the distractions here with the arrows because then the Ice Wizard might die or the Tower just dies. It doesn't matter. He's down a lot of Elixir. He definitely got outplayed really hard there. That's good for us. We can go for a knight. And then we'll see if we don't get outplayed hard. Because, you know, sometimes that happens. I'm not, I'm not like, uh, <laughs> impervious to terrible plays. As you guys saw earlier, the very first game, I think I missed a rocket or something. Missed a fireball. When I, I, I guess the game didn't matter, but I do make misplays. Let's see what we can do. Uh, he's got Earthquake with this, so I'm not super scared. He might just, like, tornado the Magic Archer into the Prince and kill the Skeletons. So I'm a little bit scared of that, I guess. Yeah, that's up. Um, wait, can we knight here and then go and keep the Magic Archer alive? 
and then finish everything off with the Magic Archer. Dude, the Magic Archer really is popping off right now. The Prince is a problem, but maybe we can fireball everything back and not lose our tower. Poison comes down. Earthquake also coming down. Is that enough to hold the door? Oh my gosh, please push the Knight away. Oh, so well played on our opponent's end. That sucked. All right, we're gonna have to go Royal Hogs with the Knight tanking. Maybe we can get some extra value. He did drop all of his Elixir though, so there is something here. That was really well played on his end. Credit where credit is due. You know, if I if I lose a tower, I'm not going to say anything other than, hey, that sucked. Well played to my opponent because I genuinely think he deserved it. Okay, that was a pretty bad play on his end, though. I don't agree with that. He's, uh, so if you guys don't know your placements, it's really, really important to know your Royal Hogs placements. In that position, all the piggies go directly towards the tower. And uh, I think we just outplayed him. So that should be a win. That should be all she wrote. All right, we just want to stack flying machines because they're really hard to kill. He might Electro Wizard on this, so I want a mini pack if he does. It'd be a really bad play. I hope he does. All right, we'll Magic Archer here. I messed up. Not going to overcommit into that. You already know the deal. All right, we Knight. I think we're just going to go in for this. And then hopefully kill everything with arrows. Okay, this is really good on his end. He's able to get some damage, but it's not going to be game-ending damage. And then also, might just fireball on the Ewas to kill it. Pretty obnoxious, but it's not the end of the world. And then... I guess he's going to spam me like a crazy person. He thought I would Royal Hog, so that's why he did it. Not the best play on our end, going in for the mini P.E.K.K.A. there, but I think it's going to be more than enough. This guy did overcommit, so I'm just going to go Royal Hogs, and that should be all she wrote. Played a bit better than him at the end. Uh, that's all that we needed to do, and we should walk away the win. Great Fireball prediction on top of the Ice Wizard or Electro Wizard. Um, still not enough to win just yet, but this should be it. Yeah. All right, we, we're just a bit, bit better than him at the end. Um, still, like, pretty scuffed and scary game. Not a bad player, so as we said before, I guess earlier, we're playing against better people. GG's. Alright, so we want to get to 15 wins. We've actually lost one game. Usually we get to 15 with like one or two losses. Um, I guess it's a bit harder. Uh, I remember that you showed up in Cast Royale and then you helped Rob and Joe get better at their decks. Do you remember? Uh, please read this comment. Dude, I can't believe you remembered that. I don't I don't know how you remembered that. That was like freaking forever ago, man. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> how did you remember that? Oh, jeez. It's a huge thank you to uh, anyone that remembers me since day one. Like, I don't know. I think we've developed a lot as a person and then also as a player. Um, not really as a player. We've got worse at the game comparatively to where we were before. Um, but, you know, I, I think as a person, I've changed a lot. So thank you so much um, for being with me along this journey. It's crazy how much you've grown in three years. I've watched you. Yeah, you. I mean, I was in my bedroom. Does anyone remember the beach, uh, the beach pillow that we had in the bedroom? <laughs> <laughs> that was wild. Congrats on all the success throughout the years. You're still my favorite Clash Royale YouTuber. You're by far my favorite Clash Royale YouTuber. And it also motivates me a lot to hear like you guys have me as your favorite because there's so many great YouTubers. I think you guys pick me. Great. Uh, will you do an IRL vlog? Yeah, I'm thinking of doing an IRL vlog on my second channel eventually. We will eventually do that. All right, let's read the other things. Better question. Can you pronounce this handle now? I forgot. <laughs> I'm sorry. It was like excuse it. I don't know. I I mean I know I got it wrong, bro. I, I you got to tell me again. I'm sorry. Oh, let's keep going. Yeah, if you guys enjoyed this, if you guys want to support me as well, someone said 2,400 watching, 400 likes. If you guys want to help me without like donating or anything, liking the video helps so much. It uh, gets it out to more people, and then, you know, we are able to do more streams and more high-quality videos more often then. So supporting me for free, best way of doing that is just liking the video. Also subscribe because I put out daily videos or daily streams at 3 p.m. Eastern every single day here. Okay, so I picked Fireball, just by far the best. Best choice, we take Dark Goblin. You guys already know, if you don't pick Electro Giant, what the heck are you doing? E-Giant for the win! <laughs> oh, yes, yes. We have Tornado with E-Giant. We're unstoppable, baby. 
freaking unstoppable. I'm telling you right now. Splash damage with Royal uh, Ghost is good. I think that the heal with the Battle Healer might have been decent, but I'm not vibing with that. Exquisite. Oh, dude, that's how I say your name. Great. Love you, man. I'm sorry about that. We're going to take Skeleton Army, and you guys already know I uh, really like Sparky, so we're taking that as well. I think Sparky E Giant is not a bad card combination. E Wiz is decent. Uh, I think all the other cards kind of suck, so I'm not going to take them. Yeah. It's just it's better to take better stuff. It's better to take better cards. Yeah, it's pretty obvious, right? So when we have a Sparky and an E Giant deck, our deck dominates in double. His, his deck is going to get trashed and dashed. So if you drop any tank, literally anything, the Sparky kills the Golem or whatever tank you're dropping, and then the E Giant kills all the supporting cards. So he's just screwed. That's, that's the way I like to see it. Um, I might be in a good spot dropping a random Dark Goblin here, but I kind of want to keep it in case. Okay, so yeah, we're just going to go for a Sparky, and I should be able to afford the Electro Giant unless I'm crazy. Oh, I forgot about that. I uh, forgot that that was a card that he could run. Okay, my bad. It is what it is. Uh, I was hoping that we could kill the Dark Prince. I, see, so, it's so important to look at your opponent's spells. Don't be a potato like me. Be better. <laughs> that was so dumb. It's fine. But as you guys can see, E-Giant is really, really, really broken. Oh my gosh. So despite me going in for a uh, Sparky into a rocket, we ended up with a pretty decent interaction in the long run. I can activate King Tower with the bowler, but it's not too scary for me. Do I Tornado to kill the Princess? No, I'm not going to. I'm just going to wait. I'm going to see what he does. Ooh, Princess almost died anyway. Okay. If we E-Wiz, E-Wiz is able to kill the Dark Prince and it kills the Princess, right? No way. No way that E-Wiz dies. No way that E-Wiz dies. I refuse to believe. I, uh, uh yeah, I, that's not happening. Mr. E-Wiz boy is a shocky boy. Y'all already saw that I, I look, I, uh, touched my hair being nervous out here. Did I lie to you guys? Did I, did I just fib in front of 2,500 people? Hopefully not. <laughs> um, hey, Sir Tag, how you doing? I'm doing phenomenal, man. Thank you for asking as well. So we're just going to tornado that so it dies. Sparky hits. Yep. Wait, did I tornado that in my tower? No, that was log damage. That was log damage. <laughs> I was looking at myself. I was like, am I an idiot? Probably, but it's all good. Okay, so if you guys didn't do this before, Electro Giant, hard counters, Ram Rider. <laughs> if you don't know, now you know, baby. <laughs> that must suck. That must feel bad. You just dropped a princess into that, too. He's going to have bowler, so he can't have tornado. I'm just going to go with Royal Ghost on the other side to bait out extra elixir. Maybe I start going to the other side now, because the Royal Ghost might just put in too much work for him to deal with. At least it's a three uh, three plus trade, because he drops the skeleton, or the, uh, yeah, he drops the other thing. The other thing, I'm very descriptive out here, by the way. ETW. All right, this fireball is probably worth Forces out extra elixir. I go Electro Giant. Oh, that sucked. Please die, Princess. No one loves you. Bopper. Yes. Yes. Dark Prince die too. Oh, I just wanted the entire world to crumble before my very eyes. I'm a sadistic supervillain. Okay, that didn't work at all. This, this, wait, this, the Royal. Ram Rider is just a garbage card. Don't pick it. <laughs> That's all I have to say. It's not completely garbage, but Clash Royale over nerfed it. I loved the card before. It was very unique. It was fun. And now it just sucks. But don't don't play it as much as... Uh, you, if you like it, I mean, maybe you can play it, but just advise not to, you know? I don't want to be disingenuous about it. I, I want to be real. Like, I didn't play super well. He just has a bad card. Like, my deck is just better than his. That's sometimes what happens. You guys notice that I lost an early game because my deck was worse than my opponent's. Was it my fault because I picked wrong cards? Maybe. I don't know. I think so, probably. Um, was it this guy's fault that he picked wrong cards? I don't think so. I just got Electro Giant, and he just can't counter it because it's a dumb card. I got Electro Giant and Tornado. I don't know if anyone can beat this. Like, I don't know if you gave, like, uh, Muhammad Light this matchup. I don't know if he could beat me. Like, that's how bad this matchup is for our opponent. So I don't want to be disingenuous. Like, this genuinely feels really, 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 really unfair. So... That, that's the way I'm going to say it. I, I think that E-Giant can't really get countered by a single card in his deck. And, uh, yeah, it sucks to be him. So he's going to Princess of the River because that's how he's going to try to get all of his damage. It doesn't really work. And then all of his stuff dies. So, good stuff. I don't know, guys. I, I, I just think it's really important to be like transparent about that stuff. I never want to feed you guys false information. Um, I'd feel really bad about that, you know? So, yeah, the E-Giant should do enough if uh, we just get one hit, so... That's what we're rolling with. Why is this guy making it go so long? Don't you know you lost? Don't you have any sort of say? Or, it's, sorry. Oh my gosh. This is so easy. It's also sad too, because like, 
I can just E-Giant on defense and it counters every... Oh, don't give me a well-played, bro. I don't deserve it. I don't... I don't deserve it. I... I genuinely don't deserve it. Okay, maybe it's sarcastic because he said multiple well-plays. No, he gave me kisses. He actually likes me. I feel so bad when that happens. Like, if I play against you guys and I hard counter the hell out of you, I'm sorry. I... I don't mean to do that. I don't... Like... <laughs> sometimes this draft challenge really be like that. Like, you'll see a lot of people complain about their losses... You'll never really see people complain about their wins or like say like, you know, that was unfair because it, it's hard to remember when that stuff happens. Anyway, we go next. We're going to get to 15 wins today. Yeah, I think, no, he wasn't saying it sarcastically. He was actually giving us kisses. All right, let's keep going. Ecstatic? Yeah, dude, he was ecstatic because that light, uh, the, the, <laughs> the Electro Giant lit him up. Favorite card, Magic Archer. Magic Archer is amazing. All right, Bandit is broken. Ooh, this, this is bad. He literally got amazing cards right now. My man getting Mother Witch, Elixir Collector, and all that stuff. That's terrible for me. I'm going to pick Fireball because in case he's got Mother Witch, kind of need to. <sighs> Hello, Darkness, my old friend. I can't pick Witch because he has Mother Witch. Do I pick? I pick Miner here, right? I pick Miner because of the potential Elixir Collector. No, he's going to pick Cannon Cart. There's no way he picks Elixir Collector. I mean, I haven't seen anything else. I haven't seen any bait cards, so we'll take arrows. My deck sucks! No! Okay. Uh, princess for an alternative win condition at the river, maybe, because I don't have any other win conditions. Dude, I don't have a win condition right now. I don't have a win condition. Oh my goodness, Clash Shroud. Thank you. You gave me a win condition. I didn't believe you would. <laughs> you guys already know I have to pick uh, Goblin Drill in case he plays Electro Giant. Like, if I don't have that in my deck, I lose. Just going to be 100% honest with y'all. You got to pay attention to your opponent's win conditions. You got to have an answer to it. If I didn't have Goblin Drone, I picked Goblin Barrel. He would have E-Gianted at the river. He would have just said, gung-ho. And I would have been like, well, Clash Royale, nerf this card. I, even though I just abused it and won with it. That's that's how it rolls, you know? Um, so Goblin Drill, I can't even cycle at the start because I need to keep that for the potential Electro Giant. Always look at your opponent's cards. That is the number one. See, I knew it. I knew he wasn't going to pick the freaking Elixir Collector. If, I, if he did, I would have been toasted. I, I'm telling y'all right now. I, I got that. Uh, we're, we're figuring it out as we roll. Okay, so... Definitely worth fireballing, right? Now we don't have to worry about the stupid musketeer. Unless you drop something in front of it, which you're not going to. Okay, good stuff. Fortunately, the musketeer doesn't fire faster than, like, you know, like the tower. So that's really good. Uh, You definitely have E-Giant. Yeah, there it is. Look at the skill. Yes, sirs. That was terrible, Skeleton. So this guy is not going to be as good as he... Um, yeah, he doesn't know the right placements. You're supposed to drop it here. Full counters. Even if I zap. That's good. All right, we're just going to do this. I actually don't know the right Goblin Trail placement. <laughs> when I was flaming him for placements, I do the wrong one too. Um, I think I go for guards last second and then go for Prince. Because Prince is going to be able to give us more value here, I think. Man, I hate E-Giant sometimes. I also love it when I'm playing it, but I hate playing against it. This guy's down a lot of elixir, so I don't think he's able to stop the Blandit plus Prince. The Blandit is what I said. The Blandit. The Blandit. The Blandit gonna blash. It's gonna clash. Okay, this guy just lost. Let's be real. Let's be honest. We uh we got pretty good. I don't know Goblin Drill placements on defense because if I'm being honest, I never use Goblin Drill on defense against Electro Giant unless I absolutely freaking need to. And for the most part, I only use like Inferno Drag Inferno Towers, stuff like that. Inferno Towers, Tesla's cannons, hard counter it real real well. I wonder if like Goblin Drill there works. I just didn't want to mess with it because like if you mess it up, you just lose, right? I'm gonna try to get more fireball value. We'll see what happens. Maybe I can protect the princess. Oh, this sucks. Okay, that does pull. He's got poison, remember? So I need to E-Giant here. Ooh, Prince! How do you jump on that little pony? I feel bad for the pony. It's taking the entire weight of that massive prince. Bruh. That doesn't even make sense. Y'all, you gotta you gotta be serious. You gotta be joking me that that even is a, a potential. Alright, so we're just gonna go princess because it's gonna give us more value. Bandit's gonna bait out extra elixir. Herp to derp. Let's just beat this guy, please, Clash Royale. You love me, right, Clash Royale? We're, we're good friends. We're on good terms. We chillin', we vibin', we thrivin'. Okay, fireball might have made most sense, but I don't think that it's the right play anymore. Okay, yeah, Fireball seems like a good play. I think with the Electro Wizard and the Princess, let's get a kill. Screw those skeletons, screw those skeletons, screw those skeletons. Yes! Domination, baby! 
All right, that, that should be win. That should be a dub. That should be a thick W. That should be a fat W. That should be stellar stuff. The first time in my life that I can unleash my princess potential. The first time in my life she can see the light at the end of the tunnel. Never mind. Damn. That, 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 that hurt. That hurt. You weren't even going to win the game, but you had to kill my princess. You shameless individual. Wow, Ryan. Ryan, I'm hurt. I think that that was, that was a little bit brutal. Princess true win condition? Yeah. I mean, he tried to get skeletons down to kill my princess five times in a row, so probably not going to work. <laughs> oh, I love you guys. Best spell for triple draft, fireball, and then arrows. What comment, uh, where do I comment for Trasher Treasure? I do it every single month. I got to be honest with you, the Trasher Treasure videos, they take the most to edit. So I can't necessarily put those out as often. Um, how was your move to Seattle? Stressful as heck, man. But you already know, like bad things happen in life, right? Sometimes you just fail. Sometimes you flop spectacularly and you'll bounce back and life will be a lot better because the low sucks. And then you're just like moving to the high and then the high feels that much better. So like imagine life is just great all the time. It's like eating cake all the time. You're going to get bored. Even though cake tastes delicious, you're going to be like, wow, this just doesn't like I'm sick of it. You kind of need some like rock and roll in life to like really appreciate life the most. It's kind of like when you're sick, you don't really appreciate the, f before you're sick, you don't appreciate the fact that you can breathe out of your nose without any issues. But when you get sick and then your nose is clogged, you're like, man, I would do anything to breathe right now. So it's, it's kind of like that, you know? So that's how life be. Figuring things out? Yeah, dude, I'm still figuring things out. I have a couple really good editors, but as you guys saw yesterday, yesterday was my worst video I have ever put on the channel in over a year. My editor and I are extremely disappointed by that video, and uh, I wouldn't have put it out if uh, if I didn't have to. But I wanted to keep up the daily upload streak for four or five plus years, so I did put it out. It's just, you know, sometimes that happens. And uh, in the future, I'm working my hardest. I literally have, I think, nine editors right now for one YouTube channel to be able to put out daily videos. That's how hardcore I've went. So 14 plus hours a day to make my SirTag channel right here that you guys are watching work. Uh, that's what I've been doing. <laughs> it's been a grind, but it's worth it. In the end, when I get things rolling, it'll be a lot easier and I won't have to put 14 hours in to make it work. Um, but yeah, we'll see what happens. Also, there's been really good news on YouTube end. I think, um, I don't know if I'm allowed to say this, but I, uh, finally, I, I, I'm just gonna say it anyway. I finally got like a partnership manager. I've never had that before. So now I have like a direct contact with YouTube. So that, that made me really, really happy. Um, that was big. So yeah, that was one of the best moments ever. Thank you for showing Tag the love. Uh, yeah, yeah, no doubt. Let's keep going. Uh, I was wondering what you capture your screen on your computer. Do you use a capture card? Yeah, I use Blackmagic and it it's scuffed and sometimes it gives static audio. So if that ever happens, let me know. <laughs> All right, so Rascal's really good card, but they're not good when your opponent has Valkyrie and or Royal Ghost. So I'm not taking it. Evarbs, dude, no, stop this. Why, why, why? Why are you getting good cards? Also, rail recruits aren't a building, so I don't know why they're in the building category. Clash your house, gotta fix that. All right, I might lose this. I don't have a good, don't have a good deck right now. I should have probably taken cannon because cannon's broken. Okay, I'm chilling. We're chilling. We're chilling. We're chilling. Uh, fireball with the goblin drill, so then you can push things away. I think I take Barbrill. And then I think I'm also going to take Ooh, all these cards are bad. I needed arrows. I really needed arrows, didn't I? I'm gonna take Bomber because it synergizes really well with drill. I only have two cards that shoot up. This is bad. I could lose this. I should have taken arrows. I also forgot if I give him air cards or not. So we'll try our hardest. Maybe I'll win, maybe I'll lose. We'll find out. <laughs> I mean, I can't promise you guys anything here. Dang, I didn't take arrows and I'm playing against that. <laughs> Get some Fs in the chat right freaking now. I'm an idiot. Oh man, that's brutal. That's actually really brutal. I'm not even going to fib. That's a huge failure. Uh, that was bad on his end too, so we'll take it. Nice. Can I just counter it with the goblins? Nah, that's, that's scuffed. Okay, so let's see if I can win this one. This will be like my worst game yet. Um, from a card selection standpoint, wish I had cannon. Would have picked that over Royal Recruits because I thought I might get stuck with two buildings. Bad decision. Bad decision. I forgot that Royal Recruits are also a potential building. I don't know why that's in the category as building. So now we learned. 
pick cannon when you get the chance. Just want to highlight that for you guys in case you didn't know. Also, I thought that the bar barrel would be good because he might have a lot of like annoying cards um, to be able to splash onto us, but I guess not. Like the Electro Wizard is pretty obnoxious here and then the Ram Rider as well. I think I just got to go for recruits and then see what we can make happen with the counter push. It's going to get a hit. It's going to get a charge. Maybe we can charge all over him here. That princess is a problem. So I picked a really bad draft. Maybe we can still draft our way to success if we... No, we're going right into a Valk. Man, man. This is the worst draft I've ever done. Oh no, this is not fun. Alright, we're going to do this. Maybe we'll kill that. And then... He might just Ram Ride our other side. So I got a Dark Goblin here, I think. It's going to kill the Valkyrie. And then I can go for a Prince potentially. And see what we can make happen. I'm going to Prince Dark Goblin and see if this works. Maybe it can go for some splash damage with the Bomber. That's a terrible Lightning that doesn't kill. So the bit, or the Prince does hit your tower. That was a really bad play. That was our first play that we are like, yes, thank you. Okay, so he's got Valkyrie, but it shouldn't be back in cycle. Uh, because he dropped the Six Elixir card. So I think I'm faster than him. Shouldn't be back to Valkyrie. So Ram Riders. Ram Riders is also a really good answer to this. Dude, I have nothing for this, uh, this Ram Rider. My entire deck. Literally nothing. I have to Fireball at it back. Which isn't the worst thing in the world. So I'll take it. No Lightning, remember. So he's going to Zap. That's a bad play. Doesn't hit. Uh, I think I can go Prince. He's going to go Princess. I can't Barb Real. I wish I had arrows. Just screwed up by me again. You guys already know. Like, I 100% I admit whenever I mess up. This is a huge mess up on my end. I go Recruits in the back, and then I try to snipe with Dark Goblin, I guess. Ooh, this is fine. This is okay. He messed up. Maybe he didn't. Is he going to Lightning? Is he going to be really bad? I hope he's terrible in Lightning. Please. Please mess up. I messed up so bad, dude. He's actually inting. This is okay. He is kind of griefing. That's what we need. Dark Goblin might be able to put enough work. Barbell doesn't. He's going to Valkyrie um, and not kill. So I can't go in for that. He's going to Valkyrie. Got to go for Witch. He's going to Lightning on it. Can I go Goblin Drill? And then the Skeletons might be able to distract. No, I needed a Barbell earlier. I threw. The Valkyrie's out of cycle. Maybe I can Fireball here and make something happen still. I don't know, dudes. Nah. Bad. Oh, I really threw this game, didn't I? Alright, so he should Ram Rider. I should lose. See, I made all the predictions. I knew exactly what was going to happen, and I wasn't able to stop it because I messed up so bad. And that's sometimes what happens in Clash Royale. If you really suck and you make a bad draft, you're going to lose against someone way worse than you. This guy is not better than me. DM me. It is what it is. I knew all the things that were going to happen. I showed you guys. I was like, hey, he's going to drop Princess. I've been at Arrows. Knew he was going to Ram Rider. I knew exactly what was going to happen. I wasn't able to stop it. That's my fault. Bad game decision on my end. And we bounce back onto the next one. And sometimes that does happen. Audio. Ooh, yeah. Sorry about the audio, guys. As I said before, I can't really fix the audio when that happens. L deck? Yeah, L deck. 100%. My fault. And we've realized that, I guess, I don't... Is that is that my building? Do Are all these, the Lumberjack and all this, the building? Is that how it works? Lumberjack is a really good card in this draft because it rages up your win condition and allows you to break through in other situations. I'm hoping that I get some other source of building here. Princess is phenomenal. I'm gonna take that so I can have some splash damage. Looks like this guy's got a lot of splash damage as well, so um, we'll see what we can do here. Poison, just because it's able to hit things a little bit uh, further than other stuff. And then Cannon Cart because it's just a really, really good, robust card that counters most things. Um, I think I take Goblin Giant. Even though it's got less health, I think it is the best play. And then I'm definitely going to be taking Arrows, I think. Yeah. This is an okay deck. It's not necessarily a good deck, but I've got Dark Prince Cannon Cart with Goblin Giant, so I think I can maybe break through most things. We'll have to wait and see. If he's got a good building, then it's going to be harder for me to break through. But fortunately, remember, um, he's not able to pick Barbarians. So I think that the poison is pretty okay. I don't think... Okay, we'll see if we can break through. That deck is better RG. Um, I don't know if you guys know what I'm doing. Uh, I can't really switch my deck, right? Like, this is uh, this is triple draft. <laughs> All right, we're going to go Princess here on top of the bowler. And we should be fine. All right. Um... This is fine because we can go Goblin Giant here. Looks like he furnished other sides, so the furnace isn't going to be able to do much. It will kill. It will do damage to the princess, I think. Oh, it doesn't. Uh, I have no way of stopping that. I don't have Zap. I don't have Tornado. That's a guaranteed King Tower activation. That's really unfortunate. Well played to our opponent. The princess is going to die to the Fire Spirits as well. Really unfortunate. Um, I guess we go Cannon Card here. But then he might Expo, or is he just going to Hawk? Oh, he's got Hawk. My bad. 
All right, so the Hog Rider gets one hit on our tower. Not too bad, not too shabby. Canicart probably dies to the Furnace and the... Uh, yeah, it definitely dies to the Furnace, which is okay. We're going to Eros here since it kills the Dark Goblin. And then no Furnace Fire Spirit damage. So despite this not looking amazing, it's still pretty good because we're up 1,000 damage. I, I could Princess at the River, but when you're up in a lot of damage, it's better for you to just play safe and not like throw when you're down Elixir. So I was down three Elixir. When I was at seven, he dropped a, a Witch in the back. So that's telegraphing that he's at full Elixir when he drops that in the back. So he was up a little bit. I can Poison here. Damage is down the Fire Spirit, so I don't have to respond to it. And then I can go Dark Prince. I'm going to keep the Lumberjack since that seems like my only good answer to Hog Rider besides my Electro Wizard. So I want to Ewiz as the priority counter. Uh, Dark Prince doesn't really get stopped by a Tornado, so that's good. Feed Bowlers, that's interesting. I don't think that that's a great play on his end. Uh, Lumberjack should be able to kill the Dark Goblin first, unless I'm super unlucky. Yeah, I'm not super unlucky. Okay, uh, I played that really well. Good stuff. I guess we can Cannon Cart in the back left. If he Hog Riders, we just Ewiz. And then it's around even tower damage on both sides, so it's not that bad. If he witches, I think I can poison and then I can arrows my way through. Because he's going to go and drop a his building that he has to drop. And then I think I can e was here, as I said before. I think this is probably the better play. And then I think the bowler just goes other side, so it doesn't hit anything. No, it hit my it hits my e was. Okay, the way the cannon card's still locked. Wait, that was so sick. The fact that the it, it pushed it, but it didn't matter. That was really funny. The reason why it didn't matter is because, um, yeah, it, it, there's... The reason it didn't matter is because the cannon card died. So then if you kill it, then it doesn't get pushed back. So the, the, the pushback never really worked for him. That's awesome. So we're going to win this game. Um, I had a good draft. So we played well. I think both of the games that I lost were basically both because of my draft. So shout out to me being bad with my drafts. Everything else has been dope. Also, um... Can you give me a challenge for Clash Royale? Uh, yeah, check out my impossible challenges. I have a playlist with impossible challenges on the channel. Try any of those. Uh, my personal favorite, I think, was the all air deck. I did it all air cards in Clash Royale. You guys can search that, sir tag all air cards. Amazing video, very fun. It was way easier than expected, but I think it would be way harder in this meta where there's a lot of Electro Giants. So that's why uh, I challenge you. $100 from Nico. My man, huge thank you. Galaxy shout out to Mr. Nico, man. You, sir, are a freaking legend. Huge, huge thanks, man. And uh, yeah, that's like genuinely amazing. So I'm just going to go black screen on that for a second. I just want to make sure that the audio and everything is back to normal. And then also, William, thank you for being a part of the Chivalrous Sir Society. Thank you for becoming a member on the channel. Hopefully you enjoy the emojis. Um, all right, let's keep grinding. Let's keep going. Do you favor any sports teams? I like the Boston Red Sox, but I don't really watch uh, baseball that much. I just liked going there. I liked the atmosphere. I liked the vibe. Sports, when you can watch live, are incredible. But also, that's for like, it's hard to be able to afford that, whether it's from a time perspective to be able to go and take time off of work or also just be able to like afford the tickets because they cost so much money, right? So um, yeah, I, don't, I didn't really go that often, but when I did, it was really nice, especially when I was younger. I think I kind of, just love the environment of Fenway. All right. Yeah, Boston got 28 runs scored on them by the Jays. <laughs> I don't play Valorant. My editors do, though. Was Why was the video so weird today? Um, check out my pinned comment on the video. It was terrible. So um, sorry about that. It will never happen again. Uh, sometimes when you struggle and you're trying to put out a video, it won't be the best one you possibly can if you're trying to do daily videos. And this is the first time I've ever not been proud of a video that I published. Uh, that was yesterday's video. The video that I'm uploading tomorrow, I already have set. It is phenomenal. You guys will love it. So subscribe for this channel if you guys want to see daily videos at 3 p.m. Eastern every single day. Do you play any PC games? I played uh, League of Legends with my girlfriend a little bit and some of my friends. Um, it's really toxic though, <laughs> and some of my friends get pretty toxic with it too, so it's not like the best game for me. I do like Wild Rift, um, that's that's a more mobile-friendly version of League of Legends because it's just faster, but yeah, that's just my preference. Musketeer is way better than all these other cards because it has longer range and it does higher damage, so just play that. Uh, as we said before, you want to end up having good splash damage. I think with Musketeer, I'm going to lean towards more of a defensive route with the Valkyrie. And then definitely taking the Leap Barbarians over everything else. Just makes sense. Snowball in case we play against someone that ends up having a balloon or something. So we can push it back. 
Y'all already know the deal. Y'all already know. You guys, you guys see the heal spirit? You see me light up? I'm like freaking tennis ball. Let's go, baby. E barb's tennis ball. I just love it too much. And then I don't really have a win condition here besides mortar. Uh, I need mortar to counter all of those win conditions. I can't just rely on elite barbarians. I could maybe and then go in for the royal hogs, but this is just better. This is way better. I'd rather take mortar and play defensive and figure things out from that perspective. All right. <laughs> Please video from Blaw. You guys would just see me get flamed the entire time because I'm not that good. It would be pretty funny for some of you guys, but yeah, that's that's what would happen. Maybe it would be funny. I don't know. You guys would probably like, hey, Sir Tag, you suck. And I'll be like, yeah, you know, I'm not very good at the game. I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I, I would get flamed in League of Legends all the time. Uh, because I'm not that good on the PC one. I'm very I'm very good at Wild Rift. I'm master uh, level, so that's good. But it's very different compu compared to PC because PC requires more mechanics. Anyway, back to business in this game. We see arrows and prints from our opponent, so I'm not super scared here. I think it's in my best interest to go in for Elite Barbarians because the arrows are out of cycle, so it's going to be harder for him to kill the Heal Spirit. And also on top of that, uh, I don't know if he can stop this. So I'm wondering if I can just kill the Mini P.E.K.K.A. and then... Uh, do I have to go Musketeer and Princess to kill this? I don't know. The Snowball work with uh, Princess? Yeah, I think so. Okay, cool. We'll take that and then I'll Valk on top of the Dark Goblin. This guy seems like he's actually got a very good deck. I'm down a lot of Elixir. I'm not very happy with this card cycle, to be honest. I think I got to go for like a Musketeer and then sack the Heal Spirit. So you want the Heal Spirit to take the hit. Otherwise, uh, what happens is you don't end up... You, your Musketeer gets just mutilated. You need the Heal Spirit to die before it jumps. I'm sure you guys already know that, but that, that, that was the deal. This guy seems like he's playing pretty well. Uh, I haven't really gotten into a good card cycle. I can't go in for the Mortar because we know he's got a win condition in the deck. So I need to save my Mortar. He's just errorizing on me. So he's winning from a spell cycle perspective, which is pretty obnoxious. I think I'm going to Mortar very aggressively in single. You might Inferno Dragon. I don't have any answer to it. Oh, thank goodness. You're, you're not playing this well. That was terrible. That was that was all we wanted to see. If he Inferno Dragon, if you looked at my hand, I only had ground defensive cards, so I would have probably taken a lot of damage and had a bad card cycle. So I like, I think I would have been screwed. But he messed that up really, really bad. It's good for us. You guys already know the deal. We're going to sack the Heal Spirit. And then this time, we're going to go for a Valkyrie instead of dropping anything else. And I think he can't go in for much. If I go in for a Mortar here and he Inferno Dragons, it's going to die to the Musketeer and potentially a Fireball. But we'll see. This is very, very good for us. I don't even know if I need to do anything besides like E-Barbs and then Snowball. I'm going to Snowball last second so then the E-Barbs uh, with the Princess might be able to kill. If the Mortar stays alive, then we're able to thrive. That's that's the goal. That's the deal. As you guys can see, Musketeer and Mortar, like if you know how to play these cards, they're some of the best cards in the game for defensive purposes. All right, so that Heal Spirit might have saved my butt. I think I go for Elite Barbarians here because even if I eat one Dark Goblin hit, it doesn't matter. We get Why would I like Snowball or Fireball on that when I could E-Barbs and then force out more Elixir from our opponent? Just keep that in mind if you guys are ever wondering what you're supposed to be doing in Clash Royale. Just realize like, hey, I can get more value from doing something else. Why would I do that to myself? Also, the Ram Rider was really tragically positioned on our opponent's end. I'm going to Snowball this so then we can keep the Mortar alive. And I'm kind of just playing like an Expo player. Um, as you guys already know, Mortar is one of my favorite decks in the game. So I'm going to E-Barbs here because it kills everything. The Dark Goblin is not going to kill my tower, but if I Fireballed or I messed up and I overcommitted, I could have actually lost the game. So just keep that in mind. Like, don't make stupid plays. Just be better. That's what's up. I'm going to Princess at the River. It's going to lock tower because he's not going to expect this because I haven't done it the entire game. But it'd be unpredictable. And then with the Fireball and the, the Snowball, we won the game. So we played a little bit better than him. We won the game. That's what's up. Just want to be 100% transparent. If he went in for that play and he played it correctly and he went Inferno Dragon, I would have had issues. He did not do that, did not adjust to my card cycle, and we won based off of that. So later on, if I was playing against an Air Surfer or something, y'all already know I'd be screwed. That would have been a tragic L. No comeback potential there. Inferno Dragon gets plopped down on my Mortar. All my stuff gets kind of shredded. I take a negative Elixir trade. Then he spams me with the Ram Rider afterward, and then I lose the game. But fortunately, he went in for some mini peck of whatever, and it just died. So that was really, really good. I always want to highlight my own mistakes too. I want to highlight whenever I make misplays because I don't want you guys to be like, hey, that was really good because maybe you guys would make that same play and then get screwed uh, screwed up by someone else. So just want to, uh, I don't know. I think it's really important whenever you win or you lose to be introspective and realize what actually happened in the game. Dang. 
Yo, uh, Nav, thank you so much, man. I appreciate the dono. Lots and lots of love. I also have no clue what a lot of the currencies are, so I always try to look them up afterward. Thank you so much. You're amazing. Oh, <laughs> uh, Nave and Raj, thank you so much. Uh, top tips to grow clan. Uh, probably go on Reddit, Legendary Beanie. I would uh, suggest to go on Reddit and just, you know, ask around or maybe Discord servers and try to find some friends and then, you know, get a really close community and friends, uh, friends will help you grow a lot more. Uh, but yeah, you got to connect with people if you want to grow a good clan. All right, so we lost a couple games because I didn't play well, but we back. We back. We doing it. Nighter Valk. Valkyrie for sure. You need splash damage in this. Cards like Wizard are actually pretty darn good in this type of challenge. Val uh, Witch is really good because it gives you an endless amount of distractions. It also has splash damage. You guys already know, if you take goblins, you're just trolling yourself. So don't do that to yourself. <laughs> I think Electro Spirit is actually good when he's got Skeleton Barrel and then also Skeleton Army. So I'm going to pick that. Uh, for the most part, I wouldn't. Oh, no, dudes, I'm going to lose. I can't. I can't deal with this right now. I can't deal with the fact that our opponent... I don't want Balloon. I, I, balloon always gets countered, and I don't know if I have arrows or some spell. That's so bad. I'm just going to Mega Knight and pray. I think Spear Goblins, because they're annoying, and they can actually help us out cycle, maybe. I forget what his other cards were. I think... Poison. <laughs> I need another win condition, and I need it now. Prince plus Mega Knight will give us some way of breaking through, potentially. He has potential of running Goblin Barrel, right? So we have to pick Log. Oh, what is this trash? Okay, I'm going to just go and pick... I'm going to pick Lumberjack, because I need to be able to build up big pushes and hopefully rage them up. So sometimes you have situations where you just have to hope your opponent doesn't play well. I think the right play, if I was better at the game is pick Balloon and only find the right opportunities to drop it. But that's not how I'm playing right now. I'm not using Balloon. Uh, I'm also dropping something with my Electro Spirit so he can't activate King Tower. Okay, so I kind of forget what his win conditions were. My bad. <laughs> sometimes that happens. <laughs> and by sometimes, I mean like every other game. I forget what my opponent potentially has. Oh, no, it's Goblin Barrel, Royal Giant, or something else, right? Or, or Goblin Barrel, Royal Giant, or... Uh, yeah... Or, or uh, goblin, goblin giant. But yeah, goblin barrel is it what it is. So that's why we chose log, just to keep in mind what your opponent has. He let the witch lock on. Let's freaking go. I feel really good about having the electric spirit in this deck now. So I'm gonna go and use it. I'm gonna go for spear goblins as well, just to clean that up a little bit faster. So the prince, it went back. Prince, you're so dumb, bro. Why are you so stupid? Why you do that to me, man? Sheesh. All right, so not good. Not good. That's that's bad. This, this is not a good start. It's not what we're looking for. <laughs> oh, man. You guys probably love watching me squirm and get the scuffed matchups. Because, you know, the other ones, when I get the E-Giant, I'm just like, yeah, we chilling. This is like, no, we're kind of like maybe screwed. I don't know. Um, when you get these type of matchups, one thing that I, you guys are going to notice, I'm just going to be 100% real. I'm going to poison like every chance I get. If I can poison on top of the Firecracker and then subtly and slowly chip you out, yes, that's what I'm going to freaking do the entire time. I don't think that you're able to break through with the Prince, Electro Spirit, Witch card combination. So maybe I win this with longevity of just poison cycling you. Maybe that's the strategy. Maybe that's the secret to success. I'm going to go Prince, and then I don't have a building, so screw me. But it's it's maybe okay, you know? Maybe we found our way. <laughs> Electric Spirit, stop letting me take 200 damage every time, please. All right. Uh, easy poison value. Oh, no. Please, please stay, stay, stay. Good boy. That's a good girl. That's a good girl. Okay. Uh, did I miss it? I think I missed one of them, which isn't the end of the world, but it's definitely... Yeah, maybe it's the end of the world. I just took more damage than I wanted. Oh, you dropped a Tesla early. What? That's not a play, bro. That's not good for me. At all. that's really bad. I was hoping he wouldn't do that. That's unfortunate. Now he's going to go in for his, uh, his skeleton barrel. Oh, wait. We're fine. We're fine. It completely calculated. It completely shuts everything down. We've got a Prince Lumberjack stupid push coming at him. This push doesn't make sense, but maybe it will make us damage. If the Prince breaks through, then we win, pretty much. Is what I'm trying to say. We're going to go in for a Mega Knight in the back and build up a bigger push because it looks like we can do this. Nice. Nice. Yo, I'm, t I'm taking this right now. We're taking this value. Yeah, out here. We're going to go Prince because it's better. I can poison. Dude, all my stuff, all my crap is clumping up. 
this is what we needed. If my stuff just clumps up, we can get so much more value because the firecracker is going to die. I use lumberjack at the river and I love life. Lumberjack at the river and love life, guys. Love the log. Love the power of the log. Let's freaking go. Bridge spam your way to the success. <laughs> also, I read this guy's name and I saw power bomb and I was like, power bang. Also, if you guys don't know, PB, power bang, great guy. One of my favorite people in the entire like mobile gaming atmosphere. So much respect for him. Him and Ash, like, all right, let me, let me be real for you guys for a sec. A lot of people are so about the individuality of themselves and don't necessarily care that much about others. Powerbang and Ash, from what I've seen, are some of the nicest people. They are not like just in it for money. They're not in it for like fame. They're not in it for anything else other than, you know, creating a really good family and business. I have so much respect for them. Um, if you guys ever see them uh, for anything or any event, they are some of the most genuine people you'll ever meet. I just want to be real with you guys from that perspective because sometimes YouTube is like, I don't know, a, a lot of like um, when you get to the top, a lot of YouTubers are kind of like cutthroat and not necessarily um, uh, like that, you know? <laughs> I think that's a, with almost every facet of life. Generally, sometimes the people at the top are kind of like ruthless, whereas those guys are awesome. Um, Hi, King. I have a channel. Uh, dumb clasher anytime form. Oh, I, I don't know what you were meaning from that, Varun, but hopefully you're having a good day, man. Also, one of my friends is named Varun. Garlic bread. Ooh, I, so guys, I actually, I kind of have like an intolerance for like wheat from some perspective. I, my stomach doesn't digest it super well, unfortunately. So I can't eat too much garlic bread, bro. I also don't like, here's a, here's a, here's a underrated take. A lot of times people fill themselves up with the bread and then they order a meal and then the meal you can't eat it all or maybe I just have a small stomach capacity and then you're like, dang, I wish I didn't eat so much bread that was free. And then you're just like, no, that's not the vibe because then you have to take it back home and it's just, it's terrible like the next day. Yeah, it's not a vibe. Also, we have Nogla here if you guys know him. It's really cool. You know, it's dope to see people that were sponsored by the game just come back and be like, Jake, like this game's sick. The fact that Nogla still plays and he played it so consistently, that's really cool. Can you pick the worst cards in uh worst cards this time, says Nico? Oh, Nico. <laughs> for a hundred dollars, yes, I will do it for you. Can I do it when I hit 15 wins? Can I do it when I hit 15 wins? Because I I want to hit 15 wins and then we'll do it once. We'll do it once. I'll, I, I, after I hit 15 wins, I'll do it. Or I'll do it on my second account. I will do it once for you. I don't want to throw this, uh, this this 15 wins, but I will do it for you. I promise. I'll do it by the end of the stream. Whether it's on this account or my other account, it will happen. Uh, I was upset about something, but Jake, thank you for being so humble. Seeing you positive makes my day. Love from India. Like Stay like this. Thank you, man. Thank you so much. But Nico, I will do that for you. I promise. By the end of the stream, in the next six games, it will happen. Okay, so I'm picking arrows. You guys already know. Best card. Um... I forget what his other cards were because I wasn't looking, so I'm gonna pick Fireball. And then Fireball is actually really good because he's got Mother Witch. Uh, I think he has potential for picking Rocket, so I'm gonna pick Canicart. And then he doesn't have Fireball, so I'm gonna pick Flying Machine. And then I want Royal Hogs. What do I do? What do I do? What do I do? Golem's not good here, is it? Does Golem work? I think Golem might work. I think Battle Room's really bad. I forget what his uh, I forget what his buildings were. I really forget. I'm just gonna pick Golem. That's my bad. I should have picked, should have uh, figured that out. But let me know if that works for you, man. Um, if that works for you, Nico. Opinion on pancakes. Pancakes, all right. So pancakes are either goaded or they're trash. If they're super fluffy and they're light, some of the best food ever. But here's the thing. If they're just like kind of hard and not perfectly done, they suck. So waffles are like a safer bet, but pancakes are objectively better with blueberries when you get them down right. Also, he's gonna Valk. So this guy seems pretty good. I don't like playing against good players. No, be bad. <laughs> oh man. All right, we're in Dark Prince here. That should be able to splash onto everything. Oh, you so bad, Dark Prince. You need glasses, man. You you looking at that Valk and you just didn't hit it. Okay, two cards that don't get bounced back by a bowler. That's a freaking vibe. Uh, yeah, th that hits everything. That hits, that, that slaps, that slaps. Okay, Hog Rider. Wait, I don't have anything for Hog Rider in this matchup. I got screwed. What did I... Dang. 
Did he realize I had nothing for hog rider? All right, all right, all right. We chilling, we chilling, we vibing. He's gonna hog rider. He's gonna go into zappies. He gets them shut down. That's a vibe. That's 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 slick. That's sick. I'm gonna fire spirit other side because he's gonna have logs. So I don't want to give him. This is an interesting dark album. Uh, I'll go for a fly machine here. He's gonna Valkyrie it. It's around even damage both sides, so it's not that big of a deal. Val comes down. I want to go in for a cannon cart same side. He goes in for a hog rider. I zappies here. We're making predictions. We know what he's going to do. I'm reading him like a book. We got this, guys. We got this on deck. I promise. We try hard now here. I don't try hard very often, but this triple draft challenge. Here we go. Y'all already know. All right. So this is a bad cannon cart um, plus Dark Prince push, but I want to do it anyway because the Valkyrie's out of cycle. I need to say, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh, sweet baby Kyle. That is crazy. <laughs> All right. So this guy's German, right? Ich liebe dich. That means I love you in German. I love you for giving me that giving me that damage. I appreciate that. Also, if you guys didn't know, I took German in high school. I still suck at it, but it's a very, very fun language. I'm going to fireball this back, and the reason is because I can guarantee that I'm going to take the tower on the right-hand side, and the fireball will nullify the amount of damage that he's going to get with the hog rider, allowing me to, you know, just stay firm on the left-hand side and not lose the tower. So for the rest of the game, all I'm going to be trying to do is... Defend my tower on the left-hand side and play tower defense. And if I can do that, I will win. What was that bowler? What are you doing? Oh my god. Uh, I just fireballed that. No, we're fine. I, was, that was, that, I guess that was what he needed to do, but... <laughs> it really just looked like out of desperation. Fly Machine hits tower first, you lose. If you didn't know that, fire, Fly Machine, Dark Goblin, they attack the tower before the uh, tower shoots. So, super easy. Oh man, you're gonna see me pick the worst cards when I hit 15 wins. I can't believe I can't believe I'm actually gonna do it for you, man. That's crazy. This is a bad push, sir. Takes whole tower. Yeah, <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> I don't know how it works. This is. <sighs> w W. Yes, sir. That's what's up. Also, if you guys are enjoying, make sure to leave a like on the video. If you guys are new here and you want to support me without donating any money, best way of doing that is leaving a like. Okay, so all these cards are super crap. Especially because you could, could pick Electro Spirit. I don't like any of them. Man, this is just this is bad. I'm just going to pick Skeleton Barrel. Because maybe I don't get a good win condition. Uh, it seems like the better play. I'm going to pick Tesla uh, because I don't think I'm going to get another building. So I'm just going to pick it. Um, Princess is pretty good. Minions might be okay, but minions just seem very, like, sub subjective to dying quickly. Uh, this sucks. This is bad. This is really, 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 really bad. No. Don't do this to me, Clash Royale. I deserve better than this. I, I guess I pick Hog Rider, or do I pick that? I'm just gonna pick Hog Rider. Um, Mother Witch is pretty good. Elixir Collector might be okay, but I can't really defend. I'm gonna pick Mother Witch. Let's see if he gets other bait cards. Oh, I'm actually tilted out of my mind right now. I'm literally getting the worst possible picks. Magic Archer, I guess. Maybe Hunter is probably better. I'm going to pick Hunter because I need damage to kill Royal Giants. And then... I guess I'm picking Log. All right, this is the worst. I should have picked Delivery 100%. But this is the worst dumb deck that it's given me so far in a while. So... This was on my own volition. I picked it, bro, and I already fulfilled Nico's wish. But I'm gonna, I'm gonna give Nico a real wish because he did spend hundred dollars. I'm not, I'm not gonna let you get something bad, bro. I'm gonna let you get the worst possible thing. You want something bad? You got something bad. But you're gonna get something even worse. I promise. <laughs> Never said that to someone before. Promising even more mediocrity. Uh, okay, this is fine actually. I can hunt you on this. Oh, nice! You've got fireball. That's totally what we wanted to see. Okay, you don't have much elixir, so this is kind of sick for me because I can skeleton barrel. Please, 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 please. No small spell. For whatever reason, just don't have it in your hand. I know you've got a small spell in your hand. I don't know why I said that. <laughs> Get amnesia, bro. Slowpoke used amnesia. It was super effective against Mr. Beast dollar sign. We he loses the dollar sign and becomes beat. That's how effective it was, guys. All right. We're going to steal his money. We're going to be the bank robber out here. Okay, so I can go for a hog rider if we want to. Uh, doesn't seem worth. I think the electric. And I'm gonna go other side. Do that. Then we dip. We dip. Okay, so earthquake is broken against cannon, so this kind of worked out. 
I'm just gonna log this. I think the princess isn't stupid. We're fine. He's gonna fire a ball or a royal giant. I'm super surprised if he doesn't fireball that. So then the mother witch. Oh my gosh! Did you guys see that? It freaking popped off. Yeah, the, I know the RG almost. Oh, so the mother witch almost didn't hit the royal giant. They would have gotten another hit. We got a lot of value there. He's got snowball. Snowball's not a good answer to the, the uh, skeleton barrel. But it is going to be a plus one trade for him. So I don't want to do that yet. Ah, screw it. Whatever. Just do it. Just do it. Nike. Nike, baby. Nike. All right. Skeleton barrel. Do something. My machine locks this. Last possible second. We go hunter. He's got a fireball on the princess. And then the hunter probably kills. I don't think the RG gets a hit. Miss me with that, baby. That's why we picked the hunter. All right, I'm getting a little bit too fired up. <laughs> this, is, this is a freaking mobile game, guys. I'm out here. I'm out here ready to fist pump. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> uh, this is how I am, though. I can't stop myself. I, I, I know that, like, for the most part, like, I shouldn't be screaming at my computer. But I love this game. Okay. I wish I had Royal Delivery. I, I really, really, really want Royal Delivery. Can I just, you know, pay you to deliver a Royal Delivery, please? Fog Rider's not going to give us that much value. Hunter pop off, baby. Let's freaking go. Let's freaking go. You already know. All right. I'm playing well now. But if I had rail delivery instead of log, we could have actually done something. I'm such an idiot. Why do I want to make the game harder for me? Please, Cannon. Please, Cannon. Please, Cannon. Please, Cannon. I got Earth. Woo! Let's freaking go. That's beautiful. That's sensational. That's serendipitous. That is exactly what we want to see. All right. So I'm on a princess here. It's going to kill the, the Electro Wizard. Uh, bye, bye, boy. No one likes you, Electro Wizard. Go get zapped away to Never Never Land. All right, if I log, probably pretty scuffed. Okay, that's not that bad. It goes right hand side. I don't even care, honestly. Through that card, it's taking the tower damage on the side that I don't even care about. I'm sorry, but I don't care about you, Tower. Earthquake always hits uh, if he drops in that position. We can Tesla really low because it still kills uh, and pulls the Royal Giant. If you guys didn't know, which I'm sure you did, because you guys are very. Uh, in intelligent individuals all right uh he's gonna get screwed by an earthquake because he only has cannon nice i think we go skeleton barrel here because it protects from the us don't tell me i lose that princess don't lie to me right now all right that should kill with the mother witch and then i get a piggy nice fireball i princess i go for hog rider i eq and then you lose because you got finesse Got the cannon. Absolutely finesse, baby. Unless we get unlucky. But. Wait, did I lose? Did I just get outplayed? Oh my gosh, I think I got outplayed. I actually got outplayed. The fly machine just locked on my tower. I can't believe I hog rider there. I thought I won. I thought I won. I didn't think you would fireball me. Wow! No way! Oh! I played so much better than him until I didn't! Oh, I don't know if you guys have ever been there. Like, have you ever done that? Have you ever done that where you're just like, I got this game, I'm so chilling, I'm vibing, and then you just like make a mess up and you lose. Like, that's a, I guess I, I was so confident that we had it there. Oh, hee 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 ha. Yeah, dude, that's a hee hee ha for sure. All right, arrows for sure. Best card to play when it's uh, whenever it's scuffed. We use fireball, unlucky deck. Not unlucky deck. That was a great deck on my end. I played better than him the entire time, and then at the very end, he fireballed when I didn't think he was able to, and I earthquake hog ridered, and I lost because there were two royal giants on me. My fault, not his. And I should have played the royal delivery, and then it would have been even easier. Oh no, I forgot what our opponent has. This is really bad. I need to start looking at what our opponent's gonna be running. I have arrows. So this is fine. He doesn't have arrows, so I'm gonna pick Dark Goblin. I don't I don't know what my deck is. It doesn't it doesn't work. <laughs> my deck doesn't work. <laughs> I need a win condition. Okay, thank god. Uh Golem? Question mark? Hog Rider? Yeah, I'll have to pick Hog Rider. I, there's more outplay potential. What a choke rip? Yeah, dude. Massive choke. Well played to our opponent. Feels bad, rip. We've all been there. Yeah. I, I shouldn't I shouldn't have looked away from the screen and gotten cocky. I did. And that's what happens. It's good, though. It's good that you get punished when you, you know, you think you win. It's just a little bit humbling, you know? It just be like, hey, I sucked. My bad. And the main thing is, like, 2017 me would be like, yeah, that's matchup. I can't believe you got lucky. Oh, man, he fireballed. 
No, it's like, hey, you play better than me. You deserve to win. Okay, this is bad. I think I might lose. I don't know if I can do it. <sighs> okay, so that can probably activate King Tower. No, it won't. It's just going to hit my tower. Okay, how do we win this? I wish I had Earthquake. All right. Uh, I will just Furnace here. Hmm. I wish I was at 12 wins. But you guys get more content this way. That's what's up. That's the good thing about it. <laughs> we, <laughs> we out here giving you the stellar content, no matter what. Um, all right. So I can go in for this. Fireball arrows kills, but that's a lot of elixir. At least the fire spirit connects to the tower. The fire spirit's doing a lot of damage. Fire spirit's doing a lot of damage. Fire spirit might be my win condition here. Like, genuinely, I think the furnace is probably my win condition. I don't really feel comfortable doing this very often, but... Alright, that kills the cannon cart. Ram Rider does connect to my tower. There's nothing I can do about it. Ooh. Very lucky, actually. Do I have to arrows? I think I do. Unless the bomber hits. Okay. We're fine. I think eating that one hit isn't the end of the world. Maybe he misses the tornado. He doesn't seem like he's doing like the right placement. He's doing like a really weird placement. Like that's that's possible for him to miss. Like that's not the right placement. You're supposed to drop it right here. And it's way easier. I can fireball arrows on top of his uh, firecracker and witches, and this should be a win. I'm going to focus up the entire time. I will be reading chat after I win this one, guys. Y'all already know, when I mess up once, we try not to mess up again. Great fireball hits everything. Perfect. I love how the spear goblins walk up into that as well. I don't know if you guys noticed that, but the spear goblins walked up into the fire spear instead of killing the fire spirit. That's an interaction that Clash Royale needs to fix, but they don't need to fix it when I'm playing this deck in this specific situation. They can mess that up as much as they want because it messes up my opponent. Yes, I'm shameless. I know. I don't care. That's how we do what we do. All right, you can't Ram Rider into Zappies. It's a lost cause for you. So you're gradually, slowly, but surely getting out finessed by Fireball Cycle. Doesn't hit the Witch. Can't do it. Great fireball. We're playing a little bit better than him. That's what's up. Not a little bit. I think this is a lot bit now. We think we're playing. I think we're finding our groove. Um, we still haven't seen a big spell from our opponent, so I'm very confused on what he's doing right now. Did he not pick a big spell in his deck? You guys know? Like, I'm very, very confused by this. I can't break through this. There's no way. There's no way in heck the Prince ever hits the tower. But I can still get more damage with the Fireball. This is just going to be a boring game, guys. I just... You know, you already know I'm not looking at the chat. I'm not looking away. Because, like, last time I did, I, I threw. So we're getting... <laughs> we're going to have the little shock collar on me and say, Jake, don't suck at the game now, all right? That's what's up. That's what's good. All right, we can go for Prince. And then I can go in for Arrows because that was a really bad play on his end. I can probably snipe this and then Arrows on top of the Spear Goblins to come out. Ooh, this is so good. There's so much more than I was hoping for. Uh, not actually. I didn't hit everything. You can't spam into this. You can't. You can, but you can't. But you guys know, like, <laughs> you guys feel that? You're ever like, you can, but it sucks. Don't do it. <laughs> oh, See, arrows are so clutch. I, I gotta be honest with you guys. If I didn't pick arrows, I would have lost this game, probably, right? Almost certainly. And we're just fireballing. We're using furnaces on defense. We're going for bombers. And we're realizing sometimes games are boring. Sometimes they're meant to be boring. And that's how you can guarantee success and guarantee wins. If you're not guaranteeing wins and you're losing, then, you know, you only have yourself to blame. I, this game was so controlled, he had no clue and no no chance of winning. Like, absolutely zero chance from, uh, from the control aspect. We pull. Dark Goblin. Gap is here. We luckily win. This was just too easy. But at the same time, this is also me tryharding really hard against someone that probably, sh you know, probably feels bad that I'm tryharding and like being a sweaty gamer and fireball cycling. Like this is not the ideal situation in a triple draft tournament at 12 wins for me when we could be hit. We should be hitting a lot higher, right? I shouldn't should be able to commentate and chill with you guys and relax a little bit more. Oh, let's go. Okay, well, I have everything unlocked, so... <laughs> I said let's go thinking I was on my mini account.
I got nothing from that. Don't mind me lying to you guys. Well, I think that it was worth it. Oh, man. I love you guys. Why do I always lose in tournaments? Maybe you don't know the right cards correctly. Maybe you are you haven't implemented all the right tips and tricks. I think a lot of the tips that I gave today will help you guys out. And a lot of the failures also, you guys can learn from it. Like this is an experience that we grow together and become better at triple draft and just have a lot of fun in the process. So hopefully you guys are enjoying it as much as me. But if I, why do I always lose? I can answer that question for me. A lot of times I just pick bad drafts or at the very end of the game, I think I win and then I actually wasn't going to win. So... For you, you got to analyze your mistakes and then you'll get better. That's just the number one rule, bro. 100%. Voice crack for the new cards. Yeah, dude. We always get those voice cracks out in here. All right. So Zappies are pretty good, but Magic Archer is more versatile. Also, it's another alternative win condition. Knight is pretty good here. Prince is okay as well, but I'm just going to roll with that. Let's freaking go, babe. No, no. He's got, he's got Electro Giant. I need a building. I need a building, Clash Rail. Do not screw me over right now. And these next four cards... You will give me a building. There's, I'm not taking no for an answer. I need it. 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 I, I don't... I can't function without a building. I can't function without a building. Oh, no. I guess I got a Sparky Royal Giant deck. This game... It, want, it wants to tilt. It wants to tilt. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> We're freaking screwed. <laughs> All right. This is bad. This is bad. This is bad to the bone. There's no way. There's no way I win this. I, I know I'm getting like agitated and hyped up and gassed up, but y'all already know this is gonna be brutal. Sparky, I probably need to save for the E Giant, but if you're dropping a four elixir investment in the back as your first play, you're donating four elixir to my Sparky. That's a huge elixir trade. I can't pass up on that, bro. No matter what, I can't pass up on that trade. Nice fireballs. That's two hits for the firecracker and it kills. Firecracker Royal Giant pops off, by the way. If you guys didn't know, now you know. He's going to try to activate King Tower, hopefully. No, he's not a potato. I wish he was worse at the game. Dude. Russian roulette. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Let's freaking go. See if we can get anything from this. Uh, that's fine. I can arrows. No, it's not fine. I just magic on defense. Scuffed city, baby. Okay. That bat, I thought was going to lock onto my tower. Fortune. Stupid tower. Why did you target a bat that was already dead? Oh. Nice! It hits my tower, even though it shouldn't have. That's bad. Okay, he knows I've got Sparky now. Uh, he's not going to be terrible, right? He's not going to go Electro Giant with a Valkyrie, right? No one would ever do that. He's trying to bait out my uh, Sparky, so then he can go in for the Electro Giant. That's what he's trying to do. He's at, he's at a higher win count. He's not a bad player. I would wish he was, but he might fireball this. It, that two taps, the two taps. So the Firecracker wins that interaction. Then you have E-Wiz and Tombstone and Electro Giant in your hand. What are you going to do? What are you going to do? E-Wiz? Oh, baby! Please kill, 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 kill. Oh, you had one job, Arrow. You had one freaking job. That thing was on his last leg. If there was a health bar, it would say zero HP or one HP. Bruh. All right, when is this guy going to realize that Electro Giant is a good win condition? When is he going to drop it? You guys know? <laughs> I, I have no idea. <laughs> Man, bruh. Okay, there it is. We go Sparky, same side, and pray to God that he doesn't have a rocket because I forgot what his cards were. If he has Rocket, I lose. If he has Rocket, I lose. But we can see this is an absolute win, maybe. You know, the Hulk uh, meme? That targeted the wrong thing. I might have griefed. No, I'm, I didn't grief. I didn't grief. I didn't grief. Also, Sparky doesn't get reset, so we're chilling. He's going to fireball. No, I suck. No, I don't suck. Ah, this sucks for him. <laughs> Let's freaking go. <laughs> the four stages of grief until it ended up being good. He still hasn't touched my tower. Royal Giant's going to keep the Night Witch at bay, so then we can slay. Dude, the freaking Firecracker is still alive. Dude, I got the best deck ever. Honestly, I think I might have hard countered him. I countered an Electro Giant player because I had Sparky. Yo, we were so big brain picking the Sparky, knowing that Clash Royale was going to screw me over and not give me a building. I knew it. I felt it, you know? It was sensational. It was one of those moments where you're like, what would I do if I wanted to tilt me right now? Not give him a building. Play against Electro Giant Tornado. <laughs> Let's go. Man, this has been so much fun. This is like... Okay, I gotta be honest with you guys. This puts my skill to more of a test. Way more than the regular global tournaments is. Because I can get to the global tournaments with like very little thought process. I can get to like 15 wins without any thought process really. I just run a good deck. And then I'm probably better than the people I play against. So then I win. 
uh, at least at the 15 wins. So maybe there's some people that are better than me at 15 wins, but for the most part, I can just like cruise up, right? This, there's just too many dynamics that like screw up my mental and I've never played in situations like this. So I have to adapt. And if I'm a potato, I'm going to lose, which I've been a potato three times. Every single one of those losses were avoidable by me playing better and picking better. But that is what it is. I love triple draft. Yeah, dude, I love it too. I think this is probably my favorite game mode, despite it being my worst game mode out of all the game modes to play. So I hope that my uh, Kanye East. <laughs> nice. <laughs> nice. -oo. Also, how the heck do I keep getting arrows? Does anyone know? It's like arrows have an affinity towards me. It's like I'm Cupid or something. I don't know, bro. Fireball arrows. Y'all already know the deal. Best spells in the game. Let's freaking go. We got an E-Giant too. Oh my gosh. Guys, 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 guys. Let's take a moment to appreciate what Clash Royale has bestowed upon us. Elite Barbarian's Electric Giant. I know Rail recruits might seem really good into this, but they're not. They're, they're, they're not perfect in that situation. I am astounded. I, I am happy. I, I feel fulfilled for the first time in my life. I can pick guards or I could play, uh, pick... I don't know. Do I want guards? He doesn't have arrows. I'll pick guards. Screw it. Better than heal spirit because it's safer, right? Um, Ewiz for sure, right? Ewiz is just more versatile. I think that the air would be nice. Ooh. Okay. Firecracker, you're sick. You're sinister. I love you. The ultimate tilt deck? Dude, this is the ultimate tilt deck. This is what you like. You, I mean, Kanye East is going to go run, run Kanye South away from our game. He doesn't want to play this anymore. Good luck, dude. I already got the good luck. He got, he gave me the firecracker mode. He gave me the good luck. I got the best luck. I got the firecracker mode. I got everything. Sheesh. All right. I just want him to spam into me just like that dark goblin. Cause that's a bad play. So now he has to respond to guards. So he's going to be down. He's down like a lot of elixir. Yeah, this is quite good. So I can E-Wiz and then I could E-Giant maybe. I forget what his deck is. I kind of forget. I'm just going to E-Giant. I think it's fine. Oh no, he got a pack or a mini pack. Oh, I'm an idiot. I don't have guards in cycle. I just did that. Okay, never mind. We're fine. Why would he do that? What? Okay, I j I'm an idiot, and he played worse than me. So that was that was that that shouldn't have worked. That 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 hurts my soul to watch. I should have gone Pekud. I didn't have guards in my cycle. I would have had zero way of defending that. I needed cannon cart, and I didn't have it in card cycle in time. So I would have lost the game. I should have lost the game. I'm not gonna lie to you guys. I'm a baffling idiot. That was terrible. <laughs> um, sometimes I make plays and I realize how bad they are afterward. And I'm like, ah, you know, that's just not okay. Um, fortunately, he cycled a random Ram Rider, which, I mean, if you Ram Rider into the E-Giant, it slows it down. Let's be, let's be fair for him. Let's actually give him like the real interaction that should have happened. It slows it down. Is it a good tactic though? Is it a good play? Probably not. Also, Electro Wizard, it resets Inferno Dragons. It resets Inferno Towers. It's extremely good against Goblin Barrels if you time it correctly. It's one of the best cards for draft. It can kill things with the spawn damage. And then also on top of that, it's just, it's a nice ranged card that can stun Ram Riders, Battle Rams, whatever stupid thing is coming at you. An alternative counter to the Hog Rider, so the Hog Rider only gets one hit. Like if there was a card that I would want to pick as a range card, it would probably be Archer Queen or Musketeer. But, you know, I'm not complaining if I get that. Also, I don't care about your stupid Dark Goblin. That's doing some damage, but I rarely want to build like a parade push here maybe never mind never mind nah, never mind that's a new bowl nah, that's not that good i lied to you guys i wanted to build a parade push until i remember that he had bowler tornado or er, bowler poison with pekka wait this guy hard counters me and i i literally didn't play well or he had mini pekka huh i don't i guess he just played worse than me and i played really poorly the good thing is i've got arrows for the dark goblin so the dark goblin kind of sucks in this situation never pick dark goblin if your opponent has arrows that's the i guess the rule the rule of the duel. Okay, so we're just going to fireball this back, and then we're going to E-Wiz, and then we're going to deny all damage, and we're going to win the game. Unless I threw, which I don't think is possible. Maybe I did. I did. Nope, I didn't. Oh, I'm so talented. I'm so clean. That was completely calculated. It was all part of the plan. I didn't just throw the game in front of everyone and then come back. Because the timer ran out. Definitely not that. Jeez, guys. I think, I think it's getting closer for the con for the uh, for the memes. I was gonna say content. I was like, why would I say that? That's B Rad's thing. 
Um, your last video of today? Yeah, so I'm going to do one video today. This is it. This is the stream. This is the long one. All right. Sweet. <laughs> I don't know how to say that, man. I know Cashman loves saying that. I don't I don't know. Um, Mid-ladder content, please. Uh, I, I mean, we are at mid-ladder because I haven't pushed up at all. Um, I'm at 6,500. So this is like 500, 600 trophies lower than I would be. Top 1,000 in the world. Top 2,000 in the world if I pushed. But... <laughs> With my Seattle thing and all the uh, work that I've had to do to even get videos out, I haven't had the time to do that. So it's been unfortunate. All right, so this is the last win for 15. And then we are fulfilling Nico's challenge. Can you pick the worst cards? The next win, or so after we win this, to show you guys that you, how to get all the rewards, the next game, I'm going to screw around and throw it. Or maybe not throw it. I'm going to try to win with all the worst cards. If we can win with that, I'd be impressed. So we'll see. Uh, the last game you pick all the, I know, I know it's going to happen. I know you guys, you guys did it. You, you, you picked it. You made it happen. Also Royal Giant, Electro Giant. Those are the two cards that you want to pick in almost every situation. When I picked Hog Rider and I didn't have Royal Giant, I freaking lost. So don't be me. Don't be stupid. Be better than me. <laughs> also, we've got Electro Wizard again. I always get the same cards. I don't know. Is, is it glitched? It has to be freaking glitched. It has to be glitched. I'm getting Electro Wizard arrows and then E barbs and guards. This game, this game is glitched. I swear it has to be glitched. I'm getting the same stuff every time. Have I not gotten the same stuff? Okay, no, he picks Firecracker now. Okay, but it has to be glitched, right? Right, guys? <gasps> Beautiful. We get lightning too. So this is a secure win. I'm not losing this game. I refuse to lose. There's a chance I could lose, but let's just say, like, I'm calculating. Let's say we got this. Easy. Also, G, uh, JR Fly, thank you for the donation, man. Thank you for the $5. And uh, appreciate you supporting. You never get buildings? I know. Buildings and I just don't get along. <laughs> Guys, usually these streams are super chill. But today, it's been like more high octane. I, I Most of the streams that we do here are just super chill and relaxed. Um, <laughs> but this has been anything but. It's been crazy. Oh my gosh, he's he's just going to throw. He's He just surgically entered his entire chances of winning this game because we're going to Royal Giant here. The Rascals aren't going to be able to take out my entire tower and then he's down so much Elixir. How do you defend that? Like, what do you do? You're, you're literally at five Elixir dropping a freaking... I, I, I'm at a loss of words and you're at a loss of your tower and you lost the game. Yay! <laughs> See, it's so important to realize when your opponent messes up because if you didn't know what your opponent's Elixir count is you probably would have went in for like guards or whatever to defend that and the, you would have stopped like 800 damage but you wouldn't have taken a freaking tower taking a freaking tower is way better than you know trading evenly with your opponent like i don't want to do that i just want to win the game <laughs> have simple needs out here brothers okay so i think royal ghost is optimal here because I don't know how much damage I'm going to take from him potentially going in for Goblin Barrels. So I'll save my arrows for the Goblin Barrel. And then, no. Uh, is the Princess going to be able to kill the Rascals? She, please, 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 please. One more shot. One more shot. One more opportunity. You got this. Everything you've ever wanted. <laughs> to capture or let it slip. Don't slip right now. All right, we're going to go Ewiz. And then we're going to shut that down. And then... I think we're chilling. We're good. We're vibing. Uh, there's no way. There's no freaking way. If the E was reset and then the guards were in front, that would have made my day. I mean, this has already been like one of the best days ever. You guys have made this stream so much fun for me. I usually like putting out daily videos, but today, like, I might be doing these live streams on this channel more often because I really, really enjoy playing these global tournaments with you guys. I think it's just, it, it's fun. At least for the triple draft. Maybe not for the rail tournaments because those get kind of boring. Um, but like stuff like this, it's just, it's so weird and it makes Clash Royale literally more fun for me than, uh, anything else. For me, I, I always want to do different challenges in Clash Royale and make sure that no game ever feels the same. And I hate playing champions all the time. You guys probably already know that about me, but if you didn't, then now you do know that. Um, and this, no champions, different games every time. It's literally like what I want in Clash Royale, which is crazy to think about. Anyway, we're going to go in for a Royal Giant with guards and really wreck this man this is by far the best game mode that clash Royale's created i freaking love it let's lightning and take out the three hey, let's freaking go all right you're a great content creator with a good attitude and inspired me yeah dude ask us up if i can inspire you in any way or just make you happy that makes me happy 
it's always good whenever I read comments and they're like, hey, Jake, you made my day better. Hey, Jake, like I had a tough day and I watched your video and it made uh, the day feel like it was actually not garbage. That's something that I enjoy. So thank you. And here we go. I really hope that Nico is still here. We are doing it, man. All of the worst cards only for you. You you did this for us, bro. We're picking the deck, the dumpster deck. <laughs> Can I win at 15 wins with a dumpster deck? All three of my losses were all because I messed up. Those were my faults. So one more dumpster deck. Here we go. So the worst card here is going to be a uh, heal spirit because you don't know what your deck is. And if you heal up like guards or skeletons, you're probably screwed. The heal spirit is by far the worst. Worst is rage because it doesn't really have any synergy here. Like, I don't know what it's going to work. Um, worst is probably bar barrel because it doesn't extend very far. It only gets one hit on the tower. Worst here is bats because it's, it has no synergy with heal spirit. See, I could end up with something decent with Goblin Barrel. I think Rage Golem might be worse. I don't know what my other cards are. I could have something good with Goblin Barrel. Golem might be worse. I'm going to pick Heal Spirit Goblin Barrel because I think the synergy is terrible. And then I think Hunter is the worst out of these cards. But maybe Baby Dragon would be worse. I'm not sure. I think Hunter is the worst out of those. Definitely not Musketeer. And then... Goblin Barrel Earthquake, 100%. And then the last one, I think E-Barbs are the best. I think, I don't know. It's Tesla or Inferno Tower. Probably Tesla. People don't really run Tesla. Tesla is only good if you're trying to evade Earthquake and you can drop it high enough. This is the worst deck I could have played. This is the worst deck I could have picked. We've got Heal Spirit, Earthquake, Rage with Goblin Barrel. This is what you make me do. <laughs> There's no way I win with this, right? Zero percent chance. Literally freaking zero. Oh, man. If I win with this, I'd be shook. Please don't lightning or fireball or drop any spell on my Tesla, please. Okay. The fact that he's got Mother Witch is also pretty annoying. Because I can't kill it. Unless he does that. Watch this. Watch this. It's the play. It's the strat. It's the strat. It's the strat. It, it, it's the rage up Goblin Barrel with the bats. I'm winning the game. We're goaded. We're goaded. We got it. We got the strats. <laughs> this heal spirit goblin barrel push is never gonna freaking work, right? Not even once will it give me value. If I win this game, there's no way, right? I'm gonna earthquake. It does negative damage to the tower. It's okay. I don't care. I need something. Nice. This is actually hilarious. Because I could kill everything with a bar barrel. <laughs> no way! Are you joking? This guy picked Ram Rider. He actually wanted to lose. He wanted to lose. But I can't kill that unless I time this perfect. Oh, I suck. <laughs> uh, not good. Not good. Not good. Not good. Not bueno. If you hit the heal spirit at the right timing, you can fully counter a dark goblin. I don't know the right placement or timing. I did it in a pro tip video and I forgot. <laughs> The pro tip videos make me a lot better at the game as well. Like, they, they help me learn placements. And then I eventually forget them if they're, like, really, like, I don't know, nuanced. Okay, so Ram Rider again. I think the Ram Rider gets pulled a little bit more by the Tesla so then you can't hit it with a Fireball or something, hopefully. That targets so we can kill with Bats. Have you ever seen a Mother Witch die to Bats? Well, now you have. Oh, no, no, no. That was an Earthquake. <gasps> oh. Screwed. Oh my god. Please, stop it. I could have actually won this one. I mean, I can still actually win this one. Right? It's all calculated. It's all part of the plan, dudes. We're still winning. I promise. Hyperventilating right now. I don't know. I don't know what's gonna happen. I'm kind of confused. Can we just chill for a second and not drop dark goblins at the river? I know you want to, but like, it's not a fun experience. Slow down the ram rider, please.
I don't think this is good. Uh, we haven't seen a big spell from him, so does he have Rocket? That Hunter's not going to hit it. I hate Hunter right now. Earthquake about to pop off. Earthquake about to pop off. We're just going to rage up the Tesla because I need to. This mini packet is so annoying. Great bar barrel. I can still win this. I refuse to give up. I refuse to surrender. In the face of adversity, we 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 uh we bounce through. We definitely know what to do. Oh my god, he had a rocket. Uh do this. Pray. And hopefully we find a way. Hunter wins? Goblin's still alive? Oh my god. No way. No way! No! The, the heal spirit! Oh! <laughs> I love this game. I love this game so much. How did that happen? How the heck did that happen? Oh! Heal spirit goblin barrel, baby! No freaking way. Also, we got lucky. Let's let's be real. The fact that the dude picked Ram Rider, the worst legendary in the entire freaking game. And he picked cards that can die to Earthquake Bar Barrel. Like, why? Why do you have Mother Witch Magic Archer and Dark Goblin? Why did you stack them all up? Why did you not Rocket Cycle? Why did you just go for Ram Riders into a Tesla? These are all questions I don't have an answer for. <laughs> That must have been the best moment in the history of my Clash Royale career. Nico dropping another 100. I love you, man. Thank you so much. All right, so we're going to go and show you guys the end really quick before we end. But yeah, I just want to say a huge shout out to everyone that supported me today. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't already as I show you guys the ending if you guys want to see what happened again. Subscribe to this channel because I upload daily videos at 3 p.m. Eastern every single day. So definitely get notified when I go live and be part of the action. I promise tomorrow's video will be a banger and you will not want to miss out. I refuse to put out qu bad quality videos anymore. Yesterday's was an exception. It was trash. I'm sorry about that. Um, and that's the first time it's ever happened in a year. But, uh, you know, all the future videos will be bangers. Anyway, look at the earthquake slowing down the Ram Riders and then the Tesla was actually able to kill it before. Oh, no, it still hit. <laughs> Never mind. I thought I was slick. I thought I was doing a different interaction. So we were down 900 HP. We did a Magic Archer, Dark Goblin. Look at this. I won from this situation. I had two Elixir, Mother Witch, Magic Archer, Mini Pekka, all coming at me. And I was down so bad. That was nutty. Magic Archer all died to the Barbrill. As I was saying before, Barbrill is broken. And then he rockets me. I'm at like freaking negative HP. Why did he drop the Fire Spirit there? Why did he eat so much damage? Why did he Ram Rider instead of rocketing? If he just rocketed once, had the Mother Witch defending, and then used the Mother Witch to defend our Hunter plus Goblin Barrel, he would have just rocketed again and won. Then he rockets when the Hunter was killing that. We keep the Hunter alive with a Heal Spirit. Goblin Barrel goes onto the tower. The Hunter gets healed up by the Heal Spirit. The Goblin Barrel kills the Dark Goblin because it's raged up. The Hunter is barely alive, and he goes and drops a Fire Spirit, but the bats kill it. The Heal Spirit jumps onto the, the Fire Spirit that was already dead. It heals up the freaking Hunter. Look at that again. His Fire Spirit was already dead, and my Heal Spirit jumped on to the, heal, the Fire Spirit that was dead to heal up my Hunter. Somehow the bats got ahead of the Hunter as well. I don't know how. I don't know how the heck those bats were getting targeted by the tower first. The Fire Spirit was dead. Heal Spirit, you're, you're nutty. You're out of your mind that that worked. I cannot believe we won that game. That was actually the most ridiculous situation I've ever seen in my life. I, out of all the improbable situations, I've never seen anything like that. And I've also lightning blocked three times in a row with skeletons to win the game. But that was more so like just getting lucky with timings. This is just like improbable. Like, I've never seen that. Man, and that's what Triple Draft does. So again, guys, I put out daily videos at 3 p.m. Eastern. Like if you want to support the channel. Subscribe for more videos. And I'll be doing more streams like this if you guys show a lot of love and support on this video. Have an amazing rest of your day. Good luck in the tournament. And use my tips, and you'll be successful. You know, just casually uh, 
rage up a goblin barrel with a heal spirit and a hunter, and you'll win. <laughs> Seriously, just look at the, the, the tips that I had at the start of the video. That will help you out a lot. Love you guys. Peace. And thanks again for Nico, Gabriel, and all of you guys that supported with the channel with the, 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 the massive amount of donations. All that goes directly back in the channel and makes it better. Peace.